shut up, Devo. <laughs> God damn it, it's always Devo. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, happy day of the week. Um, I was like, hey, I haven't been feeling that well today, but I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, I kind of feel like streaming, I kind of feel like playing Saint Maker, I kind of feel like, you know, reading text and uh, ignoring chat, you know, the usual. Uh, talking about chat, I have to bring you all back up. There you are. Okay. Now that's done. Happy day of the week, y'all. We continue on playing Saint Maker. Let me put on the music for y'all. And then we continue our journey with Holly. I totally know what happened and I totally, you know, remember everything up to this point. You better all, you know, have been there or watched it. <laughs> it's cold. Honey, this seems to be the one place where I can breathe easy. There she is. I forgot her name. Okay, l let me work out the name. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jules. Hello, Jules. Whoop, what is this indeed? Happy day of the week. Thank you for your money, too. Thank you very much. Ah, I forgot her name. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing better by now. I know you're doing Pathfinder stuff, so... Um, Gabriella? What's up, Gabriella? Hey. Hey. It was Gabriella, man. Your mind is absolutely... Damn. I'm impressed. I think I'm leaving. What? How... How are you gonna do that? I'm terrible with names, so, you know. I'll sneak out. Preferably before nightfall. Will you take me with you, or...? It's a long way to the nearest town. Oh, I've been there. You know, I, I've been, um... Okay, I finished my first run of the new DLC in Pathfinder, so I'm trying to go in with the second one. Okay, nice. That sounds, that sounds good. I wish you all the fun with that. Um... I had that happen to me, actually. I was like... Um, in a place where I have to stay overnight and whatever, and it has been for like a week, and like after the first day, I was like, I cannot do this. The, I have to share my room with like six people. I have to, you know, I don't even mind being up and whatever, but you know, it's I fucking hated every second of it, and I just fucking took off the next day and had to, you know, I think I had to walk about four hours. To get to the next town or whatever because the buses didn't drive so that was really annoying but it was it was better than staying there like people underestimate how how some people can tick if it comes to you know life-changing shit and they have they are going through a life-changing changing shit and you know gabriella especially she she knows who she is she doesn't want to be changed or whatever and I'm I'm all for it, so yeah. Are you just gonna walk? And I don't think that's very safe. That was a little anecdote of my life, I guess. Well, who knows? Once I get to the roads, maybe I can hitchhike or something. Oh yeah, that's totally safe. That still doesn't sound very safe. Glad to see that you're suddenly concerned for me. Look, I'm sorry. God, you're right. I really should stop saying that. Back at home, my mom would always take us to these church meetups. We'd have to smile a lot, engage in their small talk, make sure every little thing we said was something they just loved to hear. There'd be hell to pay if we ever got anything wrong. I guess old habits die hard. Yeah, I get that. Been there. We... Oh, yeah, my sister. I'm still not told that Holly and her sister are in the same person. You know. We'd read the Kylie Taylor books together. Mom would kill us if she ever found out, so we had to do it while everyone else was asleep. It would be a lazy way of writing, I guess, but you know. We'd come up with all these scenarios, 
finding a secret door that would take us to other worlds. Waking up one day to find out we had magic powers. And I know, it may all seem like silly fairy tales to you, but it was fun. It made things easier. I guess we both just wanted so badly to be part of something special. Something different. I see. Your sister... She didn't join you here? She's... She's not here anymore. I'm sorry. Do... Do you wanna talk about it? We never want to talk about it. Why? So, you know, this is a bonding moment, so let's try to tell her the truth. The game is do doing its thing anyway, so you cannot talk to her like that. You know, the, the game did... Oh god, I'm so angry already. <laughs> the, the game did that in the previous... Uh, when we last streamed it. Um, you made a choice and the character was like, nah. Maybe... Maybe I should. Where... Where do I even start? Hey. Take your time. I kept it up for a long time, you know? That's a super sweet picture, what the fuck? Oh my god, that's so cute. It was all smiles and nods at her funeral. But even then, I could feel everyone's stares. I could hear what they were whispering about her. And then, just a few months after... Nothing. We moved out her stuff, put it in little boxes, and just... packed it all away. We would eat our meals as a family of three. They would continue to go to their parties and religious meetups. I even started to forget what her name sounded like. This process is so fucking hard. Oh, Jesus. I... I couldn't stand it. Mm. Poor thing. I had a pretty bad breakdown after that. Stopped going to school. Stopped going to church. Even stopped eating for a while. Also, friendly reminder, if, you know, the heavy topics are in any way triggering to any of you, um, you know, be safe. Um, just, you know, don't, don't, don't let me be a, um, you know, a trigger for a bad situation or something. And if you need help, um, I think I still have the thing running, right? Is it this? There you go. So, yeah, um... Please make sure to seek help. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. <laughs> it's the silence, isn't silence, it? Silence, oh, isn't it? Sorry. Sorry, Gabriella. Didn't mean to. Digs deep. Worse than any noise. Do you feel like screaming just so someone, anyone, Notices. Oh boy. Yeah. It would feel really good to hear that crack again. Just let it go, holy. Ah, let's 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 bond. Yes, yes it will. <laughs> yeah, let it out. if I join you? Man, so many saves. <laughs> Be my guest? Be my guest. <laughs> I hate it. Having to follow all these rules. Oh boy. Every goddamn day! <laughs> <laughs> 
Every time we spoke out of line. Every time we messed up. Till I got everything right. Till I learned how to never mess up. Oh boy. What the? That looks bad. That's fine. What was that sound? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Gabriella's gonna take the blame, isn't she? The crown glass. Oh, she modeled it after the Saint Chapelle. The light it cast in the morning. Oh, years of history. Sacred history. All gone. Just when we were in the middle of fixing things. Preparing for... You! Corinthians! What? Do you not know that our bodies are temples? And this temple was her body. And quite literally, or...? It wasn't... It was an accident. You butchered my home! Stop! Just stop it! <laughs> Just tell her. For once in your life. Just take the blame that you deserve. I... I did it. 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 There we go. Good girl. It, it was me. Okay. <laughs> Here it comes, Holly. I have been... So kind to you, to both of you, and this is what you do to me! But they are fucking children, for fuck's sake. Okay. Hey! It's fine, Gabriella. It's... oh my god, I'm s okay. Uh. You know the hate that we have been that has been rising up for the whole time we played this game. Like I'm, we are back for like what ten minutes, and I'm already back to the point. Ah, fuck me, dude. What thought, what force seized you to assault the house of God? They are children, for fuck's sake. Accidents fucking happen. She didn't mean to. We were just playing a game, and I guess Holly ended up throwing the stone a bit too hard. That's all. Uh, a game? So this is the work of your idle hands, then? In that case, I'll be sure to... <sighs> No, 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 that will not do. Violence is never the answer. Uh-huh. Lord, give me the strength to see clearly. Let's take a step back now, shall we? Even if there was no malice in your actions, that doesn't fix the damage you've caused. I shall be telling your parents about this. Oh no. What will they do? Send me to summer camp? You don't have to go that far. She already said... That matter is final, Gabriella. After all, who else will I charge for the damages? Next, the both of you will pick up every last bit of glass from the floor. Am I clear? Can I throw her through the glass, please? Y yes. Fine. She's going to tell mom. 
she's definitely not going to like it. Another thing to look forward to when I go back home. Well, that's a mess. Yeah. Mm. Let's pick up the bigger pieces first, then sweep the smaller ones later. Sure. Hey, thanks for covering for me. You, you didn't need to do that. But we bonded. We, we are almost friends now. <laughs> Look, what you did. Really stupid. Jeez. Watch your aim next time. On the other hand, it was kind of a relief to see you let loose like that. Guess you were right about throwing stones after all. <laughs> that feeling of breaking something. Anything. If all it cost was a slap to the face and an afternoon of cleaning up my mess, I'd do it again. After all, there are worse things. No, no, stop that, Holly. Why am I even thinking like that? Just... What's gotten into me? <laughs> oh... That doesn't look good. What's wrong? She's not gonna like this. That stone must have hit this as well. Oh no. Whatever will we do? The Last Supper. Leonardo da Vinci, Renaissance, late 1490s. I didn't realize I threw it that hard. Well, it's... Just a small tear. She probably won't notice. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope she doesn't. I feel like I'm in enough trouble already. Can I ask you something? Does your family have one of these? Actually, we do. Hung up in the dining room? How did you... My mom did the same thing. Here it's a pretty popular practice. I suppose they do it so he can bless our meals. Make sure everything's peaceful and all that. Yeah, before the storm, you know. But it never is, is it? No. Not with the shouting matches me and my mom would get into. <laughs> Trust me, the painting in my house has seen a lot of drama. Same here. <laughs> Diana would always get into fights with mom while we were eating. Things as simple as, how was your day? Would erupt into full-blown arguments. Well... I guess it kind of makes sense. <laughs> what are you on about? Well, that painting, it's the moment when he announced that one of their number would betray him, right? That's why everyone's whispering to each other. So, in a way, the picture is the very definition of drama. Oh, would you look at that? That's a nice little fact I can bring up next time my mom plays the You're fighting in front of Jesus card. Mm. Oh, I am really, really happy I only had, like, minor experiences in this specific, uh, you know, area of life. <laughs> I'm really happy my parents weren't that, you know, you know, they didn't have a, stuck, uh, a stick up their asses about, you know, the whole religion thing, and I'm really happy about that. They do always say that, don't they? As if a simple painting could suddenly fix all their problems. Yeah. Whenever those arguments broke out, did they ever hit you? <laughs> well, when I was younger, but after a while, I... I learned... <sighs> This is the worst thing you can do. I, I fucking hate it. Why are you asking? I'm no stranger to it. Get hit a few times and you start getting numb and... and... After a while, it's less about the pain and more about worrying that it's coming. Mm. When Adira was talking to you back there, your hands... They were shaking. Was that obvious? I guess old habits do die hard. 
though it kind of felt good. Looking someone in the eyes and taking the hit. This is... Oh my god. Gotta keep in mind this is a this is a small kid, for fuck's sake. It's been a while since that's happened. Hey, about you leaving. If there's anything I can do to help, maybe keep watch? I can even distract Adira if you want. <laughs> Well, actually, I was thinking that I might not have thought that plan through. What do you mean? Well, it's like what you said. Lots of things can go wrong. And if I finally do get home, I'd still have to come up with some excuse for my mom as to why I'm home early. And maybe... <sighs> Look... I know we don't exactly see eye to eye, but we're all stuck in the same boat here. And it wouldn't be right to just leave you here all alone. You don't have to stay here because of me. <laughs> Not just because of you. It's like I said, lots of things can go wrong. So just shut up about it, okay? <laughs> Alright. And, uh, thanks, Gabriella. Gabby. Thanks, Gabby. <laughs> well, would you look at that? We're almost done. Nice. Let me throw this in the trash. Okay, I'll finish up here. <sighs> it's been a while since I talked to someone like that. She's actually kind of cool. <laughs> huh? What was that? Ouch. Holly! You hurt your hand. Huh? Oh. Watch there, popping out an eye or something. The eye in the hand. Like, it's the perfect, you know, spot for it. Okay, don't panic. We need something to stop the bleeding. Damn it! Where the hell do they even keep things here? We need to bandage that up. I'll go find some- That won't be necessary. <sighs> Woo! Zoomies. Let me see that cut. You should be more careful. Come with me. I'll patch you up. Wait. Um... Holly, are you sure? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Really. Concern yourself with cleaning up. You should have been more careful. Why use your bare hands? We have gloves for this sort of thing. Over at the table, second drawer to the right. Yeah, we, you know, that information would have been great like half an hour ago. You know? How should we fucking know that there are fucking gloves in the fucking drawer? Come on. <sighs> Would have been nice to know that earlier. Wait right here. I have some bandages in the back. Way to go, Holly. Should have been more careful. Well, guess I'm stuck here now. Oh. She's already started putting it back together. Oh. we go. Now give me your hand. Oh, goodness, dear. Don't pick at it. Do you want it to scar? Is <laughs> I picking at it? Calm down. It'll be hard to treat this with your hands trembling like that. Oh, sorry. I just... Relax. I've done this before. Hundreds of times if you count the statues. Mm. I've been told humor helps calm the nerves. Oh, haha, <laughs> I'm sure it does. S sorry, I'll try to sit still. Damn it, Holly, stop shaking. Oh, no, 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 D don't look at it. That'll only make things worse. Let your mind wander elsewhere. 
talk about something. Tell me more about yourself. Myself? Yes. Say, what type of hobbies are popular these days? Are you serious? Hobbies, hobbies. I guess I've got some. Problem is, most of them are definitely going to merit a lecture from her. Well, I could always just be really vague, like, really vague. Writing. No need to mention that they were Kali Taylor. Talking about drawing, just leave out what exactly it is you drew. Well, I... I like drawing. Ah, a fellow artist, I see. And what do you like drawing most? N nothing much, just... Basic stuff, like... Um... Still life, fruits and bowls and it's all that stuff. I see. Well, back in the day, some of the younger girls here took an interest in arts and crafts. I remember providing them with some crayons and colored pencils. The trouble some of them would get into. The other sisters thought it was a waste of time, however. Well, just look around us. With the right guidance, the same skills can be used to paint color into all these lovely images. So, these statues, you painted them all yourself? Not all. Most of the time, it's more of a touch-up. They come from all over. Fingers and faces chipped. Some worse off than others. It started off as just a hobby. Something to keep the idle hands busy in between managing retreats. But as time passed and less people started coming, well, it's become a full-time job. So that one over there? Oh, that. Yes, why, that's Saint Idolora herself. Oh, I've been meaning to get to that one for the longest time. Why haven't you? No matter how hard I try, little cracks and stains everywhere, and they're always so hard to remove. But once it's done, I'll have it moved to the entrance hall so she can watch over all the young girls during these retreats. <sighs> Just like in the old days. This convent brings people together. Back when there were more sisters, oh, we'd fill the chambers with hymns. A choir of saints. I had hoped. Well, I still hope that one day we can fill these halls with faithful little saints once again. She'd like that very much, I think. Mm-hmm. I bet that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I'm pretty sure that was the statue from last night. Now, this might sting a bit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I... I would like to apologize. Hmm? Maybe it was... I mean, I shouldn't have... When we lash out at someone, it's because we care for them. You understand? Bullshit. Yeah, I... I hear that a lot. And also, it was irresponsible of me to have you clean up that glass. Oh, just look at what happened. Well, it's fine, really. No, it isn't. Today has been a particularly strange day. I've been all over the place, managing this recollection. And these mysterious sightings that you've had, it's like walking through a dream, expecting to wake up, only to realize that you've been awake the whole time. I guess... I guess maybe we both just got a little bit excited. After everything that's happened. Yes. Yes, that's true. Actually, about that, 
about what happened last night. I'd like to hear more. Where do I even start? I mean, Gabriella said not to encourage her. But what if she knows something? I could get some answers. Don't get carried away. Just ask if there's if these things happened before. Well, it's just all so strange. I'm just not sure what's real anymore. Have these sort of things happened before? <laughs> well, it's like what I've said before. This is a holy place. And I know people these days so eager to doubt even when miracles are happening right in front of their very eyes. But that's what happens when so many of our number gather together. Think about it. All those years ago, what do you think we did? Um... We prayed, we remembered, we spread the faith. Every single day, Mother Idolora believed that these actions, these habits, had the power to leave a mark upon these hallowed halls. Our actions etched into stone, so that in some way our great works continue, even after we're all gone. And so, this convent was her gift to the world. Heaven on earth, she would call it. Sculpted by our hands and the hands of all the sisters who came before. That sounds... Amazing. These are exciting times, Holly. In the coming days, best keep your eyes open. But more importantly, your heart. I'll... I'll try. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know and about that. just like that, we're done. Uh, uh, I didn't even notice. Thank you so much, Sister Adira. And, uh... Sorry, again, about the window. No, oh, think nothing of it. Now, go on ahead. I still have work to finish here. To be honest, I'm not really sure what to think. But this all does sound exciting. In fact, it sounds almost magical. Heaven on Earth or Witchwood. Magic or miracle, whatever it is. I want to know more. That's how people die. She's got a lot of questions, that one. A bit dishonest. And very distracted. But she's got a good soul. A sister in the making, perhaps. You weren't... You went easy on her. Well, it's too early to say. But I do see potential. After all, that's always been one of the goals of the recollection. To instill our values in the minds of the youth. So that they may carry our, on our sacred duty. More of our number. Another voice for the choir. Uh -oh. Yes, that would be nice. And there's the matter of these events they've been witnessing. There's just so much going on. <sighs> oh, calm down, Adira. <sighs> oh, I know what to do. Oh, there we go. A candle lit. One for each of my dear sisters. It's the little rituals here and there. Repeated actions that we can always go back to whenever we need to think clearly. As we muse, the fire burns, and my heart goes hot within me. Whatever helps you, I guess. My dearest mother, Idolora, why them and not me? After all these years of service, surely God would find me worthy to witness a miracle. I thought miracles happen all the fucking time and, you know, 
people just don't see them because they are denying them, Adira. Huh? Was there not a whole lecture you just gave us like five seconds ago about miracles and never witnessing one? And yeah, uh, no, okay, whatever. I Might know just be my me. words reach you. They always do, but I'd like just for once for your voice to reach back. Is that asking too much? Have I not done enough? Is that it? <laughs> Please. And still, there is nothing. Silence. Always just silence. There are still a lot more candles to light. Too many to count. It'll be the best summer of your life, they said. It'll be fun, he said. But is it weird that I kind of like this better than prayers and lectures? Oh, wow, this closet is rusted shut. Maybe if I pull a bit harder? <laughs> Ouch. It's cut. It stings whenever I touch something. Holly? What the hell are you up to? Earlier, I found... I found some documents. Here. There's... There's always some kind of... Of mystery to these things. And when there's a mystery, there's gotta be some clues. It sounds crazy, but what if Adira's onto something? What if this is, is a magical place? A holy place, I guess. So... You're snooping around. No! Snooping is such a strong word. Adira asked us to clean up. I'm just being extra... thorough. Alright, move a bit. You take the left. <laughs> well, as charming as it is to see you try and justify yourself, don't you think you might be going overboard? <sighs> well, maybe a bit. But hey, look, it paid off! That's a lot of stuff. Do you have any idea what you're even looking for? Nope. Well, nothing specific, really. But it's okay. I'll just pile everything up here. <sighs> Liana and I used to do this all the time. We had a secret box that we'd put all our stuff in. Our own private little collection. Oh, hey, check this out. It's just like the ones she gave us. Looks way older, though. Yeah, it's got writing in it, too. I'm keeping this. <laughs> and who knows? If I'm lucky, I might even find my book here. Really, now? The one she confiscated? So good little Holly would steal it back if she could? Um, well, I guess. If I could do it without getting caught. <laughs> well, why? Is that so hard to believe? Mm, maybe a bit. But you know what? Well, I still don't really get your obsession with digging up these old papers. Stealing stuff back from Adira. I can get behind that. <laughs> Thanks. So... Which one was it? It's just a Kylie Taylor book. I know it's stupid going through so much trouble for a kid's book. No, I mean, which one? The first? Yeah, we, we know she knows them. The, the the book series, right? Huh? Yeah. First one, the Sorceress of Witchwood. I see. So, what's your coven? Time to nerd out! My... coven? Yeah. Quizzes I take usually put me with the Feyflight Elementalists. But every now and then, I end up in the Twister and Druids. Guess they'd be my secondary. Wait. So, you've... you've read the books? She probably wrote a lot of fanfics, too. Well, <laughs> yeah. Duh. I thought that was obvious. Oh my god, r really? Is that so hard to believe? No, no, it's just... 
I've never met another fan. Well, aside from Diana, of course. I'm with the Bramble Crown Illusionists all the way. Oh, really? Yeah, I know they're kind of the bad guy coven, but I actually really like Cyrene. She really started growing on me after book three. Yeah, I get that. She's got the coolest spell key. Plus, she's got, uh, pretty good chemistry with Kylie. Uh-huh. Oh, oh! Yeah, it's a really popular ship. They talk about it in the fanzines all the time. The fanzines? I can get behind that. I got goosebumps when they finally teamed up in book seven. I, I freaking love when people have their little stars in their eyes talking about something. This is the most elevating thing ever. This is why I always encourage people to talk about something they enjoy. I get a lot of enjoyment when people talk about something they love. Because it's it just transfers, you know, it's it's so amazing to just listen to people freaking out about the stuff like Recently, the whole um, Dragon Age, uh, the Veilguard uh, clips came out, and a lot of people I, you know, frequent with um, enjoy the Dragon Age franchise a lot, and them talking and theorizing and everything about what's in the what's in the trailer and whatever it has me, uh, it warms my heart, honestly. And I love when that happens about like literally anything. I don't have to be inside. I, I don't have to be, you know, in the fandom to get the excitement of other people being superly, overly excited about stuff. You're a, it's not rambling. It's, it's not rambling, Jules. But yes. Like, I really love when people have this, this energy behind their, you know, behind their stuff they enjoy. It's, it's very elevating for me. Anyhow. <laughs> was so good best part of the book the rest of it was mm, kind of weird lots of plot holes glad to know i'm not the only one who thinks that oh. it's man just thinking about this people are so negative most of the time on the internet and that's like really annoying for me and it's it makes it so much sweeter when people are just nerding out if you will like it's it's so much fun whoa look at this hey look it's it's the star from the new zelda game huh? <laughs> whoa looks expensive not exactly what i was looking for but still it's kind of cool so how was that i mean it, it's probably not as big as it as, as it's shown in the screen, because it was in the drawer, right? In the closet. So it has to be, like, a, a, a bit smaller, right? It's not like a giant staff. Behold! Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Gold forged, with a gem blessed by the Fey Queens. Bow, mortal, before the banishing magics of my spell key! Are you serious? What's so funny? <laughs> oh my god. You know, all this time, I thought you were some Bible-thumping nerd. But now I realize you're just a regular nerd. <laughs> yeah, regular nerd. Level one. <laughs> hey! Hey. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Besides, it takes two witches to accomplish the proper amount of mischief. Well, this is so awesome, what the fuck. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Aha! Your banishing magics is cool and all, but it's no match for my... My triple prong spell key of dragon fire! <laughs> ho ho! Do you really think that puny thing has a chance? Silly girl! It's not the weapon that makes a true witch. It's spirit, skill, and constant vigilance. Ha <laughs> ha! This is so fucking adorable. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, hey, hey there. Watch it. Cuties. Yeah, I agree. Th this is the, the one thing that was is good in this game. Everything else makes me angry. But the, the, 
The bonding between those two is is really cute. <laughs> you okay? Go on here. Let me help you up. Thanks. Seems I have been defeated. Well, in terms of the duel, yes. But I think you take the cake when it comes to role playing. So, how about we call it a draw then? <laughs> sure. She's so close. Damn it. Why is my heart beating so fast? Probably just adrenaline. Yeah, that's it. It's probably just that, right? Damn it, Holly, you're not thinking straight. Chill out, Holly. She's just helping you up, and that's all. Hmm. I mean, both answers suck, I guess. Just a friendly helping hand, right? So... <laughs> oh boy. Here comes the party pooper. S Sister Adira! Just what are you two? <gasps> oh boy. That... That is the pastoral staff of Saint Idolora! <sighs> it is not to be carried around like, like some toy. This is, this is nothing short of sacrilege. Give that to me. <laughs> I entrusted the both of you with a simple task, a very simple task. Have you learned nothing from your time here? We have been here like two days. Chill out. Hey, chill out. That's what it I said. It was so important. Why'd you just leave it in this room? It is precisely for that reason why it was left here. And here we go again, Gabriella. Always so eager to speak out. It only shows your ignorance on the matter. <sighs> Wait, hold on. All right, Holly. Come on, time to say something. Back Gabby up. It really was not our fault. What, what Gabby said. You really did just ask us to clean out the room. We were just doing our job. So I don't get why you need to be so angry about all of this. You are worrying me, Holly. Have you been praying lately? Mm. Dearest Heavenly Father, bless her eyes so that she may see things clearly. And... Bless her mouth so that she may speak the truth. Else she falls into sin and dirt and fire. Get out, both of you. I don't want to see you in this room again. We are done for today. Calm your tits, lady. Okay. Just the fucking stuff, hey. Chilo. You okay? Just, what the hell was I thinking? I let myself have a bit of fun just for playing around like a child. You are a fucking child for fuck's sake. Of course we were going to get in trouble. Hey, don't worry about it. Besides... Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry again. Can we have the wholesomeness again? Just a few more days. We've only got a few more days of dealing with her. Huh? How come? You do know this recollection ends, right? Oh. Yeah. Hmm? What's up? The end is never the end, though. It's never the end. It's never the end. Okay, sorry. Oh, it's... it's nothing. Okay. Guess we're done for the day. Let's head back now. Sh sure I've been so caught up in things here, I almost forgot. Going back home, sleeping in an empty room, eating dinner with mom and dad, forgetting that, that Liana was ever a part of our lives. Dearest Heavenly Father, well, it's me again, your boy. <laughs> In today's video, we're checking out. No, oh, okay, never mind. 
So aside from the prayer sessions and lectures, we've also been fixing up the convent. But moving things around just reveals how much paint is peeling off the walls. And no matter how hard we mop, there are just some stains that won't go away. Though, despite that, the day has been especially enlightening. I am learning so many things about you. About how you lend us your guiding hand in the most mysterious of ways. Dear Liana, you wouldn't believe what's happened here. Remember how we used to talk about seeing something magical? Well, I think I'm onto something. An adventure of my very own. Just like the ones we'd always talk about. Adira keeps saying how this convent's special. And maybe, in some ways, it is. And true, it's not exactly how I imagined it. No seances, no witchcraft, no fairies. Just saints and angels and other holy things. But hey, I remember my teacher once said that fairies were actually angels who decided to take no side during the war between Satan and God. So maybe there's still a way they all fit into this. I kind of feel sorry for them. I mean, they just didn't want to fight. Who could blame them for that? Eliana, hey, if you are watching over me right now, you tell me, right? You'd show me a sign? Because I'd very much like that. Mm. You do that a lot. Huh? You write for hours. Only to throw it away. This can be helpful with stuff. Just writing things down and just destroy it afterwards. Like, you know. Having stuff on paper sometimes really helps, uh, you know, figuring shit out about yourself. I heard. I, I never, you know, tried. Oh, yeah. It's just my thoughts. My personal thoughts. I've never been comfortable leaving them around. Mom would always shuffle through my things when I was in school. But you still go through the trouble of writing them down? Helps me know that they're there. Just a habit. <laughs> weird, I know. Well, definitely not your weirdest. Anyway, <sighs> gonna go to sleep. My back's been killing me. You better get some rest, too. After all, we've got another productive day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. The hell? Everything's... Maybe I should just keep this... Keep these somewhere safe. Oh, that's right. Must have carried it out with me. I think Adira didn't catch me. Oh, come on, Holly. You really gotta just snoop into someone's journal like that? Uh, just a little peek. Besides, you never know. Might be something interesting written in here. Let it be smart. Hidden clues. Maybe even a hidden map with a secret message. Our very own magical adventure. I guess they used to accept girls of all ages back then. New sisters, huh? I guess that's one way to put it. Dire, disrespectful, dumb, noisy. It's this exercise, but this is a bit much. They said if I'm bad, I will grow horns. I don't want to grow horns. When I was little, Mom used to tell me that all the time. These drawings, just... How long ago was this? If I'm bad, they'll give me the purple pill the other girls got in trouble. Now they are pur pur purple all over. If I'm bad, they'll give me the purple pill the other girls 
got in trouble. Now they are purple all over. Was this how it was like back then? Not at all how I pictured it. At least not from what Dira told us. I can't sleep. The other girls make sounds at night. But there are worse sounds. Uh. <laughs> oh no. What was that? Just like the other night. Hello? Is, is anyone there? I'm... I'm not afraid. <laughs> <sighs> Must be my imagination. But this. Just what was going on here? Angels, heaven on earth. It did sound too good to be true, but maybe. Maybe I'm looking at this all wrong. I mean, this was just one person's journal. So there's more clues, more missing pieces to the puzzle. Looks like we've got ourselves an adventure, a little something to distract us. And maybe, just maybe, something amazing might happen really soon. But that's enough reading for tonight. After all, a proper witch needs to keep herself well rested. We've only got a few more days left, best to make them count. Oh, okay. Another flashback. Let's go. It has been hours. Children, obey your parents in everything. This pleases the Lord. This sounds like lazy parenting. It's in the Bible, and there are no exceptions when it comes to the Lord's word. Do I make myself clear? Here she comes. That fight seemed pretty bad. Liana? <laughs> Did she make you... Were you kneeling the whole time? The salt... It stuck to your skin. Just like what they used to make me do whenever I screwed up. Kneeling on salt. Head bowed. Arms locked in prayer. Hours felt like days. <laughs> I don't like this one. This does not feel right. It never felt right. No, no, it's okay. It is okay. Everything is fine. You remember, right? You were able to fix this. You were able to help. That's how it went, remember? Hey, it's okay. I know it hurts. But it helps not to think about it. <laughs> oh, I know. Just give me a sec. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> what book is that? We've already read all the ones we have. Well, <laughs> I've kind of been writing one of my own. This one's about these two girls. I haven't given them names yet, but one dark night, they sneak out of the house. And right there in an old tree just outside their village, they find it. A door that leads them to Witchwood. <laughs> They get the coolest spell keys. They join the Marsh Squad games. Oh, and they even get to team up with Kylie. <laughs> that's... That's nice. It's still a work in progress, but... But maybe one day we'll be able to read it together. Yeah. I... I like that. Thanks, Holly. It feels... It feels so much better now. 
be. Whenever things get too hard, I'll make it all better. I'll fix things. I'll fix everything. <laughs> you say that, but you don't really mean it, do you? L Liana? That's okay. I'm used to it. I'm used to all the silly little things you tell yourself so you can sleep soundly at night. <laughs> She's coming home. She's coming very soon. And then we can tell ourselves all the things we want to hear. W what's happening? Who's coming? Shh. It's okay. It'll all be over. Very soon. This again. It's even worse now. <laughs> it's fine. It is fine. This game is going from cute to rage inducing to fuck up within minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, yeah, a lot of rage a lot of more rage inducing though. But yeah. This is all fine. I don't have any slots left to save. That kind of sucks. Okay. Um. Go back to sleep. Come on. Just go back to sleep. was that? It just keeps getting worse. Bad dream? Y yeah. Hop nothing. I hear you sometimes at night calling out to someone. Hey. How do you do it? Do what? Sleep so soundly at night. <sighs> well, I wouldn't say I sleep soundly. Dad used to tell me that and I snore sometimes, but he also told me that if ever my dreams got too scary, all I needed to do was take a deep breath and think of something happy. That's the thing about dreams, right? It's all in your head, just jumbled up thoughts and memories. So if we think hard enough, we can sort of rewrite it, make it so that the nightmares slip into something pleasant. I see. You make it sound so easy. Well, it really isn't, but... How do I say it? Oh, I know. It's just like the partisan charm. Kylie Taylor's signature spell. Oh, go. Back to the nerding. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like how she channeled all those memories she had of her friends into her spell key. And scared off all the bright creepers. Yeah. I see. I... I sort of get it. It's kind of like casting magic then, isn't it? <laughs> the turn of a spell key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get to Witchwood. <laughs> of course you put it like that. I guess so. Though it's a bit simpler than that. No flashing lights or magical incantations. Just find a reason to keep going. And here I am comparing things to Kylie Taylor. <laughs> I 
I better watch out. <laughs> if I spend more time around you, I might just end up starting a fan club. Mm. <laughs> You're welcome. And look who's getting a sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, got another wonderful day ahead of us. Dibs on the shower, by the way. Sure. Well, that's one problem down, sorta. But there's still this. Best to keep it with me for now. As we approach the end of this wonderful recollection, I'd like to take this moment to bring up our work from our very first day. There she is again, our once perfect girl, face stained with imperfections. Why? How can she possibly ever be happy again? Yeah, how could she possibly happy be with friends and some fiction? But that's okay. Such stains are but symptoms. And when we are sick, we do not trouble ourselves with mere symptoms. And that the health system. They always just cure the fucking symptoms and not the roots of it. <laughs> Never mind. Let's keep going. <laughs> I don't want to go on a rant about that, too. <laughs> we go to the root of the matter. Slice the tumor at its source. Sin. Wait, is this Final Fantasy X now? In hospitals, they give out doctor's prescriptions, rooms to rest in, and in some severe cases, surgeries. But while most are focused on healing the body, here we heal the spirit. Healing the sick, huh? Is that really all there was to it? Damn, I, I don't even know what to make of this. Holly? <laughs> uh, yes, Sister Adira? So, after all the enlightening lectures and prayer sessions and... and work that we've done, how do we move forward? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Well, you see... What to say? What to say? Mm. I'll start speaking the truth. I promise to start speaking the truth. Uh, excuse me? What does that have to do with what you've written down? Um, no, well, you see, like what you told me the other day. Bless my mouth so that I may speak the truth. It's, it's been hard, but I feel like I'm slowly learning to do just that. Holly, I sense that you are distracted. The devil speaks his whispers into the ears of the young. Sorting out the words of God from the words of the devil is crucial to your spiritual formation. And, with that in mind, have the two of you seen anything again? Um... No, nothing out of the ordinary. Are you absolutely sure? No voice. Apparitions of any sort. <laughs> there must be something! Hey! Sister Atira, sorry, but nothing so far. But we'll keep our eyes open, okay? Silence. It's always silence. When Mother Idelora gave this lecture, the girls would break down in tears. The spiritual epiphanies they would experience. Each one of them would speak God's name to high heavens. Some even spoke in tongues. And here you two are. I need more from you. Do you understand? Look, I'm sorry if this is all different from what you want it to be. I guess I'm just not like them. The girls who came here before. But I can't change that. Neither can you. You're wrong. We can. We always could. Oh boy. This convent has changed more souls than you could ever dream of. And no matter how much the modern world continues to taint the youth, we shall persevere. 
There shall be more of us, and whatever happens long after you've passed, this convent shall still remain. <sighs> For the rest of the day, the both of you shall continue cleaning this convent. Now that we've finished with the archives, I want you to move on to the common area, and we can skip lunch. It's time for the both of you to recognize the value of hard work. Oh, God. Best get to it. <sighs> you gotta admit, that was a whole nother level of weird. This... obsession she's got with whatever's been happening here, it's... it's just... I don't know. It's almost like she's waiting for something. Hey, Gabby. Can I ask you to help me with something? <laughs> that room we were cleaning yesterday. I need to look through it just one more time. What, right now? Well, Adira's busy. If we just do it really fast, in and out. Again? I just need you to be on lookout. Make sure Adira doesn't catch me. Didn't you hear what I just said? This... this isn't healthy, Holly. I know that, but... but please, just one more time, okay? <sighs> one more time. Just one more time. And that's it. Famous okay? lost words. Can we buckle down, make our way through the rest of this recollection, and leave? Alright? Sure. <sighs> oh boy. I'm really looking forward to all this being over. All right. Let's see what we else can find here. This is a lot. Let's get started. It has come to my attention that some of the younger girls are hosting, we are hosting are being very difficult. This is not their fault, but rather a symptom. No doubt their families have failed to raise them according to the holy virtues and all Christians should live by them. Nonetheless, it is our holy duty to see it that their bad habits are corrected. As such, for this batch, we are changing our curriculum to incorporate basic values of discipline and spirituality. See the attached lesson plan for more detailed information. Lessons in proper poise and posture. As sisters of the Idolorian Order, we wish to instill the feminine values of grace in our attendees. As instructed, the girls are to stand up straight, arms raised to their sides while balancing books. 10 minute intervals with short 5 minute breaks. Continue this activity for 2 hours, more so if you see fit. In the event that they fail, a simple prick of a sewing needle to the nail is the recommended punishment. Rex wonders. Time will heal the little wound, but the brief moment of pain will make it so the heart remembers. I'm sure Gladiator isn't making us do that. Hmm? Got anything? This. This over here. Let me see. <sighs> Remember that journal we found? I was reading it last night, and I... I don't think the nuns here were very nice to the girls. Really now? That was surprising. I know, right? Did you really think this was some picture-perfect place where they sang songs and held hands and shit? Adira seemed to think so. Here's another one. <laughs> March 23rd, 1956. Number 16 was acting up again today. Made a fuss about the food we were serving. She even had the gall to vomit all over the dining table. Every grain of rice wasted is another day of penance spent in purgatory. As such, I made sure that nothing went to waste. Excuse me? Down to the very last drop of her sickly wretch. Oh my god. If this continues, and she turns out to be a lost cause, 
I fear that we may have to confine her to the room of hosts for reformation. What? What the hell? That's seriously screwed up. What do they mean by reformation? I have a feeling that we will, you know, we will notice that. We will uh, eventually run into the reformation ourselves, so... Eh. I'm not sure. I look at this over here. <clears throat> Looks like this place used to be some sort of classroom. Wonder what happened. Well, guess it's like what Adira said. Attendance must have dropped. Yeah. A light has been lit inside me. I'm confident I can now face the sinful world without fear of temptation. Thank you so much, sisters. Here's another one. So glad to take part in this life-changing recollection. Feel like new life has been breathed into me. We are now all proper women of God. A cut above the rest. Well, it sounds like they enjoy themselves. Maybe a little too much. Mm. And look at this one over here. On behalf of the proud batch of 1957, I'd like to thank Saint Elora for being such a great teacher. And back then they called her a saint. Isn't that a bit weird? Well, she's never been officially canonized as far as I know. I suppose it's more like a term of endearment? I see. Imagine going through all that. Still come out praising this place to high heavens. And trauma does that to people. The hell was wrong with them? Guess it really was a different time. Mm. They had no choice. I mean, what were they going to do? Go back home and tell their parents about it? Like, 57 wasn't too far ago, you know. And even if their parents did believe them, well, it's not like their parents are any better. When that's the only life you've known, those kind of things seem normal. Well, it's not normal. You know that, right, Holly? <laughs> yeah. Just thinking about what might have happened here. Doesn't... Doesn't this freak you out? You know, even a little bit? Also, oh yeah, I cannot save because there's nothing. Yep, of course it does. Of course it does. I'm absolutely terrified. But I guess... Just a part of me was hoping... That this place... Was different. Growing up, they always tell us that there's so much good that comes from believing. Won't stop believing. Okay, sorry. I still sort of believe that, you know? I hate when random songs pop in my head. It's it's so annoying. And I guess I just wanted to believe <laughs> that sorry. somewhere there were people who were doing things right. I'm sure there are. Somewhere. Just not here. Well, maybe it's time to stop thinking about the past. Can't say that I like Adira, but at least... Well, at least in some way, they've all gotten better. Yeah, that's true. Oh, no. What? Nani? Judgmental-looking nun. Severe-looking nun. D did you see that? They saw us. I didn't hear them coming. Quick, let's go back. Coast is clear. You think they'll tell Adira? We'll worry about that later. Um, for now. Well, we should get to cleaning. Don't want us to look suspicious. Oh, good idea. Don't look suspicious. Let's go back to the entrance hall. Mind fetching some brooms? Sure thing. I'll meet you there. We will never make it. Let me just... <coughs> I keep forgetting about this cut. Well, at least it's getting better. Should be fine as long as I don't strain it too much. Old and dusty. Just like everything else in the convent. Heaven on earth. Well, so much for that fantasy. But some things are just aren't just aren't adding up. 
What is it we saw the other night then? Oh, hey. It's her. Wait, maybe that's it. She always seemed open to talking. Maybe she knows something. Hey there. Uh, hello there, sister. Yo, sis. Y you. What have you. <laughs> oh, boy. What the? There she is. Tell me, do you think your sins are going unnoticed, girl? How many times must we repeat ourselves? Uh, I can explain. I just left something inside, that's all. Did we give you permission to speak, girl? Oh. No. <laughs> the cult is here. So sorry. Cult of the nuns. Is that a new cult of the lamps uh, expansion or something? Why, why are they so tense? What, what, what did I miss? She's close. Too close. Such a mess. Who taught you how to dress, girl? And your hands. Do you even wash them? Oh, filthy hands for a filthy liar. Again and again we try to teach you. But if words aren't enough, then perhaps a different type of pill is needed! Not the purple pill, please. Everything but the purple pill. Please! She's just a child. I'm, I'm sure it was just an accident. And it is children, most of all, who need our special care. Oh my god, can I shoot them? Please? Just, just give me a gun and pop, 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 you know? Stop! Dare you? Really? Cowering already? I think this one needs a bit more! Oh my fucking god. They're gonna beat her to death, ain't they? Stupid girl! You come here with that wide eyed smile on your face! You think you can just waltz in and be one of us <laughs> go back to that whore mother of yours in your dirty little whore house <laughs> <sighs> i spared the child the rod but not you do you know why <laughs> what is it now you're suddenly quiet it is because you should know better. <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. <sighs> Such disrespect. You're all lucky the Mother Superior has softened over the years. <sighs> and you? Are you just going to stand there with that empty look on your face? Pop, pop, pop. Hold on, Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Listen, what I just did to her, that was meant for you. I hope you know that. <sighs> now go, before I start feeling generous. Yes. S sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, those fuckheads. Calm down, Holly. Just calm down. You are good at this. You're used to this. Of course you are. I just need to distract myself. It's like what Gabby said. Think of something happy. Anything to just calm down. The room back home is empty. Mom is looking forward to hearing your adventures. Yeah, sure. No. Stop. Think of something else. If I only I had my book, I could just read and get lost in the pages. 
and be in a better place. God damn it. Holly? Holly, where'd you go? Debbie. Don't talk about, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. That's how this works, right? Talking about it will just make it real. Everything is fine. I'm okay, I'm just, I forgot something upstairs. Oh, okay. I'll be down in a bit. Just, just give me a second. Oh, boy. Huh? It's another one of those letters. How did it get here? I must have been so worried that... Was I just carrying it this whole time? When I stepped in this convent, I was a sinful, sinful girl. But the nuns, they were so understanding and so very, very kind. Words cannot describe my experience here. But suffice to say, I feel absolutely saintly. I'm so happy to have such a loving family, a loving community, and a loving God watching over me. And most of all, I've never been more happy to be alive. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's what everyone just wants me to be. That's what I need to be. Smiling, happy, Holly. Dearest Heavenly Father, can you hear me? I am still trying. Trying so hard. So hard to find a reason to believe in you. Are you even here? Oh, sorry. Are you even here? You aren't, are you? Do not lie to me. If you were, you would stop them. You would stop all of them from hurting. You would stop all of us from hurting. Because this is all your fault. They are doing it all in your name, did you know that? There is nowhere else to go. There is no place that is safe. Here, home, everywhere I go. All the same. Liana. Somewhere in this convent, there's a girl. She is crying on top of her bed. Kind of like all those princesses in those storybooks. And she wants to find a way out. So badly. Psst. Hey. Holly. You sleep? Yeah. Oh, come on. Stop kidding around. Wake up. <clears throat> All right. I'm awake. What do you want? Listen. Do you hear that? Oh, it's the car. Yeah. Mom was talking about some party that our parish was hosting, so... They'll probably be gone for a while. And you know what that means. Oh... Time for us to bring out the secret box! <laughs> Alright then, come on. Alright, let me just... Our secret hiding place. A place where mom would never find. Underneath a roof tile just above our window. Took some work to shake it loose, but hey. Proper mischief demands perfection. And this plan is foolproof. Okay, my turn. Give me a boost, sis. Alright, just here. Place your feet on the windowsill. There you go. Sh sure. Now I just need to climb up. Just be careful, okay? Uh... Alright! Got it! Nice! Now quick, come down. Uh... There you go. Now let me just... Woo! Mission accomplished! I got the goods! Also, nice job on the hiding place. It's been months and mom suspects nothing. See? Told you I've got my ways. Now, lay it down here. <laughs> Look at it! The ultimate treasure trove! And it's still growing! 
Miley Taylor, Everns and Krakens. <laughs> okay, even with dice, that's sweet. Awesome. So, what do you want to do tonight? There's the spell keys. Oh, we could reenact Kylie's battle with the Bright Queen. We've done that already five times. Well, we can try out Caverns and Krakens. It gets a lot easier once you get the hang of it, I swear. Um, I hate to point it out. This one is Caverns with C. This one is Caverns with K. Come on. Step up your game game. Kind of not in the mood for that right now. You're always in the mood for Caverns and Krakens. Come on. Oh, there's also this romance novel I got about these two girls who are also witches. Mom would totally kill me if she found out about that one. Actually, let's continue what we were doing last time. Oh, really? You don't think it's, I don't know, cheesy or anything? Kinda is, but seriously? When has that ever stopped us? Fair point. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. I think we're out of paper. Well, guess we've got to play Caverns and Krakens now. We're finishing it tonight and you can't squirm your way out of it. Hmm. I think we have paper downstairs. <gasps> if we're careful, we can even draw on Dad's desk. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'll race you. Hey, come back here. Liana? Let's go. You promise, remember? You promised that you wouldn't leave me behind, right? Don't go! Liana! Don't go! Don't... Go! No. I'll always be... Waiting. Liana. There it is. Again. Just like all these other nights. Again and again and again. Just like... I cannot just ignore it. I will not. Not again. Let's go, Liana. It'll be our little adventure. Let's not get obsessive about it, sir. That's right. A little adventure never hurt anybody. And so she jumped out of her bed and wandered the dark hallways, careful to not make a sound. Oh boy. Can we have that painting, uh, you know? Can we have that, please? I, I'll, I'll take that above the, uh, the food table instead of the other one. Things do look different here at night, don't they? It looks better this way. It does, doesn't it? All those fights at the dinner table. All the shouting and loud noises. I think it captures those feelings perfectly. Body and blood. Body and blood. Body and blood. Body and blood. Over there. Liana. Wait for me. Hello? Hello? Liana, are you here? Oh, hey. Hmm. She's wearing her crown with pride. She is, isn't she? She was proud of it, wasn't she? Proud of all the pain. <laughs> My head. Everything feels so light. Almost like I'm walking through a dream. Liana, I know you're there. You have to be. You're calling me, right? That's what Adira said, right? Please, I just want to talk. Jump scare in three, two, one. Just like we used to. No. Why? Why won't you answer me? Do you hate me? Is that it? Just say something. Anything! Nothing. You. Oh, there, there now. 
There's no need to cry. They... They hurt you? Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Everything is fine. No. No, it's not! Things aren't fine! Shh. I know it can be tough sometimes, but... This is the only home I have. I want it to be your home as well. The holiest of places. The holiest of the holy. There is nothing to fear. Nothing to fear at all. <laughs> we are praying again. We ask for God. We ask for the world. For the sinners. Night after night. But it's for a good cause. Just like the other night. They're here. Now. Now. I need to ask something of you. Something very important. I need you to go with them. Okay? What? Go with who? Shh. It's fine. We all just want to help you. Oh. Remember the stories? You're not making any sense. Why should I... St. Mary, St. Rosa, St. Berna, they heard the calling. It's just like that. Wait, just what the hell do you mean? Remember what I told you? This place, there's a very special air to it. This is a holy place. Here, miracles happen. It's not too far off from magic now, is it? Just, just, just go with her and... and and you'll be better. That's all, that's all we're trying to do here, after all. Nope. <laughs> Helping you to become a proper child of God. A child worthy of becoming a saint. I'm gonna fucking run. I'm gonna bolt. Please, no. Just... Do this for me, okay? Just trust us. Trust me. Nope. Over there. It is coming from over there. They they are back. They are gonna turn around in a second. So don't be scared. Just what the hell are you? What do you keep saying that this is some calling? From God? From angels? From her? Leon? Is that true? Mm. I'm closer? Is that what you want me to do? There we go. They moved. And they turned around. I told you. Did y'all get scared? Do y'all need a few minutes to change your pants and stuff? No? Okay. It's okay. It's okay, Holly. Just keep walking. Stay calm. Everything is fine. This is all fine. Who's there? I guess we found her. Who's there? Go away! Stay back! Holly? Just what is going on? They, they were here. They? You saw them? You've been blessed with another vision? No, it wasn't. And just as I was beginning to lose hope. What exactly did you see? Tell me everything. I need to know. She is too close. Wait, stop! I... Tell me everything. I need to know. This is... This book. How did you... Where did you get this? Yeah, about that. I was looking around and... Look, that's not important right now! 
So, you stole this? From me? No! Please, listen! Something is very wrong here, I think... <sighs> this convent is the holiest of places, blessed by our sainted sanctity, maintained by our order for generations. Everything is fine. The... the only problem I see is you! Crying through things I explicitly told you not to! I'm sorry about that, but just look at it! The thing about young girls is that they can create all sorts of fantasies during their free time. Which, which is fine. It's a perfectly normal thing to do. But that's all they are! But... but there were letters as well, from the other nuns! Are you now building a case against us? Do you fancy yourself a lawyer? Or perhaps some sort of spy? Everything here is perfectly fine. It isn't! You keep saying that, but it isn't! Just today, I saw the other nuns. They were hurting someone. One of the newer ones. Please. This isn't some holy vision or some sort of miracle. There is something very real and very wrong here. Holly, what are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about. Those three older ones. The ones who just keep poking their heads in and out of rooms. <sighs> the last of my sisters died years ago. What? B but that can't be. It's only ever been me. Dun dun dun! No way! So you saw them? You saw my sisters? But... But why? Why did they show themselves to you? You come into my convent, break property, and, and accuse my order of such, such filthy lies. And despite all that, they show themselves to you? <laughs> Why not me? Why you? Holly, please tell me, is there something I'm missing? Some, some small little detail that I failed to grasp? Adira, stop! I've, I've done so much for them! Let go of me! No. Oh no. This was hers. Hers. She, she, she gave she, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. This was, this was, this was, this. I can help. I can help fix it. How you touch it? <laughs> Don't touch it. it. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't. Her story so wrong. <laughs> of course. Of course. She's not real. Why would she be? She was nice. Broken. 
It's broken. Shattered into so many pieces. Calm down, Adira. Deep breaths. Let's take this step by step, shall we? First, we assess the damage. A broken string, beads scattered around the floor. This is fine. This is fine. Just a matter of picking them up and putting everything back together. Second, picture how it used to look. You still remember, right? It did. Did the blue beads go beside the green, or, or did they go with the red? Oh, no. No, 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 no! Think, Adira. Remember. Or was it... Did the purple... Did the purple go with the red? I... Oh, no, 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 no. Never going to be the same. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Your sisters are here. My sisters. Yes, of course. They, they can't see me like this. Composure, composure, and poise is the standard for a proper woman of God. For a woman of Mother Idolora. Third, we take a step back and reflect, Adira. She said she saw them. My sisters. I could see it in her eyes. She was certain there were more of us. And there are, because they never left watching over us. Watching over me, but why haven't I been able to see? Hmm. You don't need to. Of course. It's all in the good book. It's all there. John, chapter 20, verse 26. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. I am sorry for letting my dis step Oops, four. Sorry. We turn our words into action. Yes, Mother Idolora. Countless rituals and practices. It has been so long since they've been seen the day of light. And it is all up to me. The light of day, actually. I shall not fail. No, I cannot fail. Never again. I won't let it happen. Ever again. I'll come to them with a smile on my face and I will fix them. I will show them the divine light of your holy embrace, mother. Oh, dearest mother Idalora, worry not for tonight. My hands will be anything but idle. Oh boy. So I'm assuming this is gonna be slightly the end game now. So we're gonna push through and try to finish it today. So we only have the other game that you know is off. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and push through to finish it today. So let's see. So noisy. I don't wanna wake up. Please just just let me sleep. Rise and shine, girls. <laughs> Let the morning bring news of her unfailing love, for she has put her trust in all our lives. <clears throat> what? what the hell's going on? Why, don't you know? Today is your last day. Fuck yeah, we can go to the place we hate again. Hooray. And we'll probably never see each other again. Yay. So fun. Oh, I'm so excited for the both of you. As always, the Italorian Order takes special pride in our final ceremony. Oh. Oh, the epiphanies you shall experience. Sister Adira, is, is everything all right? 
Dear child, everything will be fine. Now come, come. We can skip all your little morning habits for today. Mm-hmm. Downstairs, we've got a lot in store for you. Oh, boy. It's a trap. <gasps> What's all this? Ritual Romano. Prayers against the powers of darkness. No, oh, don't mind that. Just a couple of books from Mother Idolora's private collection. But worry not. If all goes well, it won't have to come to that. <laughs> Holy. Just... What the hell is happening? After last night, I was expecting the worst. But this... I don't know what to think about this. I, I'm not sure. This way, to the chapel. Quickly, girls. Away. Just, just what is that? Beautiful, isn't it? I had to work extra hard to carry this one out of the older chambers. This, you see, was the centerpiece of our final ceremony. But that looks like... During Mother Idolora's pilgrimage, she met all sorts of holy, holy people. A particular sect of monks believed that the best way to hear God's voice was through complete isolation. Oh no. Don't do that, please. We pray all the time, but the world has made it so hard to hear God's voice. Oh. But can we not do that? You remember, right? Distractions! So many distractions! But in there, in the dark, in the silence, let me tell you, people have heard his voice! Can we not do this, please? When Christ died, he was buried deep within a tomb. But after three days, he rose again. Oh, no. And much like him, we need to undergo a metaphorical death before we can be reborn. No. What the... Now, now, don't worry. You won't actually be in there for three days. But... that wasn't what... Oh, then that reminds me. The float. That's right. Knock her out and run away for fuck's sake. Once they were inside, we would all pray over them. They would be paraded around the convent. A procession for the new saints that we were birthing into the world. Oh my fucking god. Oh, such a momentous occasion. No. Uh... Wait. Just wait. I am not going in there. Oh, doubting words, doubting words. Let them not lace your lips. <laughs> Trust me, Gabriella. You shall see in time. Oh. But do not worry. I will make sure you are properly prepared. Which leads us to the first step. A morning of intense prayer. I agree, Jules. Polly? Y yes, sister. I would like you to remain here. No, don't spit up. No. As for you, Gabby, you shall be praying in the common hall. Kindly report there. I shall be there to instruct you in a bit. Don't. Please. Please don't. Never mind. Hey. Holy, I don't like this. I, I know. Look. If anything happens, just... Just shout or something. Mm. Right. Wonderful plan, Gabby. Yeah. Same goes for you. Uh. Um, Sister Adira, I'm I'm really sorry about last night. Oh dear, dear Holly. Apologies are between the Lord and yourself, child. I am simply a witness. But thank you. I appreciate it. And I know you'll do just fine. Hmm. If I recall correctly, you've told me that you like drawing. Y yeah. Oh, there are so many talented painters who have devoted their lives to God. 
I'm excited to see all the wonderful works you'll be contributing to the convent. No. Now, you see, the act of praying also requires a very vibrant imagination. Do not just dwell on the words, but rather paint a picture of their meaning in your mind. But of course, I'm sure you know all of this. I'm sure your mother has raised you properly. Yes, she has. Now, here you go. I'd like you to read prayers from this, and I want you to really visualize it. Like you're appreciating fine art. Huh. Okay, go on. Dearest Heavenly Father, I bow my head. For I have been sinful. Please wash my blood-stained hands. Tear off the lying flesh of my lips. And place upon me your thorny crown. <laughs> I've never heard of this prayer before. I... I also pray to you, dearest Heavenly Mother. Saint Edelora. <gasps> hmm? Mm-hmm. Keep going. Uh, fill the cracks that sin has left upon me and paint a smile on my face so that I can become the woman of God that you want me to be. Go on. Again. Excuse me? You will spend the morning repeating this prayer until the words are written into your very soul. And seeing as my sisters have shown themselves to you, well, we shall see. Now, go again. Um, dearest Heavenly Father, I bow my head, oh, for I have I been sinful. This. Good. I'll be seeing to Gabriella. Remember now, don't stop. I really like those psychotic eyes the characters get every once in a while. They, 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 they're really off-putting. Please wash my blood-stained hands, tear off the lying flesh of my lips, and place upon me your thorny crown. I also pray to you, dearest Heavenly Mother. I would stop as soon as Saint she's outside Laura, of the fucking thing if I would be forced to do that. Action. I mean... If I would be that person, I would try to knock her the fuck out. You know, they are just children, and I can understand that that's not an option just now. Just yet. Fill the cracks that sin has left upon me, and paint a smile on my face, so that I can become the woman of God that you want me to be. That's the funny thing about prayer. Dearest Heavenly Father, I bow my head, for I have been sinful. We pray and pray again and again. After a while, the words just all blend together. Please wash my blood-stained hands. In the end, it all comes out so naturally, to the point where I don't even notice I'm praying anymore. Tear off the lying flesh of my lips and place upon me your thorny crown. Guess it's just something I learned. I also pray to you, dearest Heavenly Mother, Saint Edelora. Mom making me kneel on the floor, praying for hours, all alone. She said that I was sick, that I needed to be healed. Fill the cracks that sin has left upon me. Is that what's waiting for me at the end of all this? Going back, praying alone? Sleeping in my room, alone? Reading books in the dead of night, alone? And paint a smile on my face. Do you remember, Liana? Whenever we'd pray, we would pretend we were casting spells. Incantations that would whisk us away to a wonderful place, just out of sight. That's why we keep saying the same things over and over again, right? So that I can become the woman of God that you want me to be. If we just keep saying the magic spell enough times, if we just wished hard enough, then something amazing would happen. That's how this works. If I say it enough times, if I try really hard, you will be here, right? I also pray to you, dear dearest Heavenly Mother, Saint Edelora, may you sculpt my every action, 
filled with the cracks that sin has left upon me. And paint a smile on my face so that I can become the woman of God that you want me to be. I'm really glad I don't have a voice, uh, face cam. Um, <laughs> that really startled me. Holy shit. <laughs> I was zoning out. Oh, there they are again. The dead cold nuns. What? You? Well, what do you think you're doing? Don't stop. Don't you dare stop. You better keep going. D dearest Heavenly Father, I bow my head, for I have been sinful. What's the matter? Have you run out of breath? Please wash my blood-stained hands. We have a fix for that, you know. To make sure you appreciate your ability to speak God's name. T tear off the lying flesh of my lips. And place upon me your thorny crown. Is that all? Harder! Pray harder! Pray harder! <laughs> Pray harder! <laughs> oh shit. Just close your eyes, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> They are still there. And so her hammer shall strike at thee. Dearest Heavenly Mother, Saint Edelora. Don't, don't give up now. You'll be great. Better than your usual unclean self. Oh, Christ, the Lord is in the stain is strong on your body. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. anymore. Dream. I'm dream. I'm dreaming. And when dreams get bad, we just need to think. Think hard enough, then we can rewrite it. No more nightmares. Just, just a safe place to call our own. Place where amazing things happen. That's all it takes. Again and again. Just like casting a spell. Just like casting a spell. Holly? <gasps> Liana? Are you okay? Liana? It's you. What do you mean? Why do you look so surprised? 
surprised to see me. Come on! Mom and Dad are gone. Quick! Let's get the box! What are you... <laughs> Why are you asking questions, Holly? You know how this goes. You know it by heart. This is what you want, right? Holly... Are you sure you're okay? Where are we? Wait, just... Where are we? Huh? We're at home. Obviously. That's right, of course. Damn it, Holly. Get your head out, head out of the clouds. Come on, let's go. We don't have much time. Yeah. Here you go, sis. Check it out. Whoa. Our very own canvas. Blank. Pure. Perfect. On it, we can put anything we want. And if we make a mistake, we can just paint over it. Paint over all the bad things. Until it's like they were never there. Until it's fixed. Until it's perfect. You're right. Let's get started then. What do you want to paint? A world we can call our own. A world with magic and wonder. A world where everyone's happy. It'll be even better than Witchwood. Hmm. We'll start with a stream. And then a forest. And then maybe a flower bed. And a grove full of pretty trees. Just like the ones in storybooks. Fairies starting in and out of knot holes. <laughs> there! Just like that! Oh! And over here we'll have the dragon's lair! Yeah. And here we'll have a witch. Flying high. Casting all sorts of amazing spells. Dragon's almost done. What should I draw next? Oh! Oh! <gasps> There's a witch, then she's gonna need a train to get to Witchwood. <laughs> That's right. Can you get started on that? Already on it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's so much happening. <laughs> All right. Can you pass me the? Wait. We're not using brushes, are we? Of course not, silly. We're using our fingers. Oh, yeah. That's right. We've always just used our fingers. <laughs> this feels good. Just the two of us. Making stuff up. Painting whatever we want. And we can stay like this, you know? Stay like this forever. Making stuff up like we're gods of our own world. My hands? What? Hi! Nah? Want a piece of candy? Oh no. It took a long time for her to start screaming though. Yeah, fuck her what up. What's going on here? You! Fuck her up. Did you make her do this? Chop the head off. So quick to cast stones. Clearly, something else compelled her to do this. Again? 
this talk of ghosts or angels or whatever the hell! No. W what? Gabby, she's right. This isn't normal. None of it is. The other sisters we've been seeing, they're not. Adira is the only one here. <gasps> so you've seen them as well? <gasps> no, 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 no. You can't be serious. I mean, we know she's a scaredy cat when it comes to ghosts and stuff, right? Just a little refresher. Do not be afraid. We are on holy ground. Have you seen this? Just look at that! We told you! We told you that something fucked up was here! Oh, sweet, sweet Gabriella. Must I repeat myself? It's easy to blame the place. They always blame the place. No, this place is sacred. A sanctuary against all manner of evil. And it has stood strong for many, many, many years. By the looks of it, the problem lies within something new. Two girls entered the convent, their souls tainted mm. by the outside world. And they have brought with them dark things. Dark things that cling onto fragile, broken souls. It all seems harmless at first. Just silly little distractions that prevent us from seeing what truly matters. But that's the thing, isn't it? Ignorance and neglect is all it takes for the devil to take root and grow. What are you saying? Just now, I saw her. I saw Liana. Liana? Your... your sister, yes? Yeah. Yes, I remember. Your mother mentioned what happened. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but if your sister did make you do this, then it means that her soul lies in turmoil, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. He sees all, he judges all, and for those who have not strayed, the White Throne, the Heavenly Kingdom, eternal life but for others the furnace of fire where there is only screaming and weeping and the gnashing of teeth <laughs> her death was a tragedy but it was also a sin in itself that's just how things are written uh, hmm. <laughs> that is not how it happened it was not not in the slightest <laughs> no that can't be... Liana's... You're lying! No! You're wrong! That's not true. Not true. Not true. Not true? Shh. There, there. You're lying. Liana... She's not... Not all of us are fortunate enough to hear God's calling. That's the harsh reality that you need to accept. No. You were such a good sister. I'm sure you tried so hard to help her. But these things, they happen. Hey! You can't just say things like that! You don't know what the hell you're talking about! I believe you are in mourning as well. Aren't you, Gabriella? No! Don't you dare bring him into this! A staunch atheist, wasn't he? Drank himself to an early grave. How dare you! I spoke with both your mothers before the recollection. Oh, dear children. I know everything. They all know as well. Your families, your community, your educators and peers. Does it make you feel good? Filling your heads with distractions and lies? But both of you will have to face the truth eventually. But do not worry. There is still hope. I said a prayer for both of their souls before this recollection began. Oh yeah, everything is alright then. Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay, let's wrap it up then. 
Everything is in perfect order. Let's go. And lo and behold, Holly now sees her sister here. <sighs> what are you? Do you not see the miracles unfolding before us? Your sister's soul, though tainted as it may be, has still come here, to this holy place. Holly, if your sister is here, then we can save her soul. After all, sin, death, what hold do they have when we stand amidst heaven on earth? <laughs> Open your eyes, Holly. Do you see what is happening around us? Breathe. Take it all in. Jonah's whale, Ezekiel's chariot, Lazarus, countless images of the Virgin Mary seen across the world. For all our lives we are told these stories. And as outlandish as it may seem, we still believe. Because... Because we are good and faithful women of God. But now, for once, we can finally be a part of it. Witnesses to our very own miracle. Mm -hmm. For so long I've waited, waited for a sign to prove that her words were true. And here it is. And Gabriella. Your father may be here, too. No. I... I don't like this! All this talk of ghosts and demons or angels or whatever! I can't take it. But you... You have no right to judge my dad. <laughs> I still haven't changed your mind, then. Idolora, give me strength. <sighs> the both of you are sick. And I will heal you. The fuck you will. Hey! Where do you think you're going? I... I... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, great. Damn it. Just... They're there. Steady now. <laughs> yeah. Just... Just breathe. Liana. Okay, I think we might be back. Uh, you might have to F5. Be back. Well, that sucked. Okay. I think we should be good again. I don't know, OBS just fucking crashed, so... I, I mean, it didn't crash, but, you know, internet was there, but OBS was like, nope. It was like, fuck this game. And, you know, I cannot play Mobius. Okay, so make sure to refresh and stop. There you go. Okay, moving on. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I've had enough. Come on, let's go up, pack our things, and get the hell out of here. And, and then what? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're actually thinking of staying. Even if we do make it out of this, we'll all just be going back home. Back to mom and dad, attending church, having dinner together, just the three of us. Back to an empty room, a room that's far too big for one person. Well, whatever's waiting for us back home, it's gotta be better than this, right? Home? Better than this place? I'm not so sure about that. But here, Adira was right, wasn't she? This place, there really is a special air to it. Here, miracles can happen. I have seen them happen. And I know, it's a far cry from the magic in the storybooks, but it's all I've got. It's all we've got, right, Liana? Really? And what about all this screwed up nonsense about how your sister needs saving? Please. Please tell me you don't actually believe that. Yeah, I'm dropping frames again, apparently. Man, fuck OBS today, what the hell? Uh, no, it's not like that. Not really, but that's the 
thing. When, when Liana died, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is sacred, and you together are that temple. What? That's what they told me. After it happened, our bodies are temples. And to destroy that temple is murder. Even if that temple happens to be your own, to murder oneself. The greatest of sins. They had me pray for her soul, and I did. I prayed so hard, even if I knew it wasn't true. It was not true. It was not like that at all. But they did not listen. No one listened. But, but I prayed anyway. I mean, of course I did. I had to. Because if I didn't... I was raised to be afraid of God. Faith. Fear. It's always been hard for me to tell the difference, but no matter how I wrap my head around it, one thing's still true. And that is... Leon. She's here. And I won't leave her. Not this time. <sighs> I tried. I tried really hard be a good sister but no matter what I did it still didn't matter so now I've got to just try try this one last thing I mean don't you feel the same way your dad if you had the chance even the smallest chance wouldn't you want to make things right our relationship wasn't perfect Far from it. He had a bad drinking habit, messy as hell. I'd clean up after him in the mornings. Mom and him would fight sometimes. The walls were thin. I'd hear everything. And when I got older, I started getting into fights with him too. But sometimes, I'd catch him on his good days. He'd bring out his guitar and play me a song. Sometimes I'd even sing along with him. So yeah. Of course I would. Then, then let's both stay. Look, I know that a lot of things Adira says don't sound right. Uh. But she's right about one thing. The things that have been happening, the things that we've seen. There is something magical happening here. And if we both stay... Stop it, Holly! Just stop it! enough. <laughs> I'm tired. Tired of people trying to convince me what the right thing is, when all around me all I'm seeing are things burning to the ground. It's the same thing over and over. <sighs> you know, the night before I left, she was feeling pretty sad that I'd be gone for a bit. She popped open a bottle of wine and she told me that. She'd miss me. And then we were sitting on the porch, making dirty jokes, talking about dad and his favorite bands. She even talked about her old flings and suddenly everything's just fine. After so many years, I'm Gabby to her again, not the prodigal daughter. Not Gabriella. Just. Just Gabby. And then the next morning, she comes in, yells at me for running late. And, like, during the car ride, she just talks about the dangers of drinking alcohol, goes over all the dirty jokes, how it was irresponsible for her to tell me stuff like that. Mm. She just starts taking everything back, you know? First time in months that I felt like I had my mom back. And she's embarrassed about it. Just... What 
is it? What is it that you people want from me? Do you want to be my friend? Or do you want to save me? N no, that's not what I'm thinking. Then what is it, Holy? What exactly do you want? You've been gathering all these old documents running around looking for ghosts. It sounds like you're chasing after something real bad, but you're not quite sure what it is. Uh, I... What do I want? I guess... I guess... I just want my happy ending. The type of ending that they promised me in yeah. storybooks. How oh, I like the Kylie Taylor book so much. I know it sounds stupid. But when I was younger, I'd sometimes wander around parks, peering through the little cracks in the trees, just hoping to find the door that would lead me to Witchwood. But that door... I never found it. I know the feeling. I know the feeling all too well. When my mom converted, well, I was actually happy for her. For some, faith really helps people through hard times. Then, well, first came the paintings, the religious ones, then the crosses, and then the idols, and she started packing up all our old family pictures. My dad's guitar, his old collection of records, piece of him all swept under the rock just so that she could wake up to a house that felt new that felt perfect by the end it felt too perfect until it didn't feel much like home anymore that's the problem with trying so hard to find the happy ending so I'm asking you what void are you so desperately trying to fill? I'm... I'm really not sure. Last call, Holly. You coming or not? You want to say yes, don't you? But you cannot. You cannot back ho go back home. You cannot love leave Liana. She is calling for you again. She is all alone and scared and she's calling for you. And this time, I won't ignore it. I cannot ignore it. It felt good for a while, didn't it? Having someone who's got your back. Talking about Kylie Taylor. It felt familiar. But in the end, you know what you have to do. Go on, tell her. It's either goodbye Gabby or goodbye Gabby. Oh, goodbye Gabby. Goodbye. Fine then. For what it's worth. A part of me is really hoping I'm wrong and that you find what you're looking for. See ya. Bye. <laughs> this is what you wanted, right, Holly? <laughs> Damn it, Holly. Just like Just before, like before, huh? Sorry. It's time to go, Holly. Somewhere in this convent is an adventure. It's not all like the adventures I've dreamed of, but it's what I've got. And even if something deep inside is telling me to turn back, I don't think I can. It's like my feet are moving on their own. Slave to a script that I can't help but follow. Seems like I've got a knack for dealing with these things. Even when it's scary. Even when it hurts me. Liana! Alright. I'm here. That's. You're not Liana. You're. You're. Me? I'm perfect. That's what you wanted, right? The perfect daughter. The perfect sister. And I always do my best to fix everything. Even if everyone else makes it so difficult. What? No. 
Why? Am I wrong? Isn't that what happened? We tried so hard. But Liana... She was just so much trouble. There was nothing we could do, really. D don't say it like that! Why not? We're right, aren't we? We have to be right. Otherwise... We'd be lying. And liars go straight to hell. Don't they? Sh shut up! <laughs> Would you look at that? The cracks are beginning to show. Not me, however. I'm better than that. Wasn't it fun? Pretending to be me? Didn't you enjoy being such a good older sister? What? You're not me! You're the one that's pretending! Me? <laughs> we do so love painting over all the cracks and flaws. Until it's perfect. Until all that's left is the holly that you so desperately want to see. Shut up! Stop talking! What's wrong? Why are you so angry? You don't like what you see? Are you going to do something about it? <laughs> oh, that's right. You won't. You never do anything. Do you? When it comes down to it, you stand there with your mouth shut. And that's why I'm better than... Yeah, it's definitely a situation. Oh, boy. There's always that one moment, that one key moment where God calls. Stronger and more desperate than we ever before. It is in these moments that truly separate the saints from the sinners. Separate the saints from the sinners. Hey! What are you doing? This place has a very special air to it. I intend to keep it that way. In times like this, the outside can be terribly distracting. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? You're locking us in. Why, yes. The two of you are sick. Very sick. And when people are sick, they need to be quarantined. We've got parents, you know. Parents who'd want to know why we're not back. I will be informing your parents that there have been... complications. And that a bit more time here will lead to great breakthroughs in your spiritual development. I'm sure, as good followers, they will all agree. I've prepared a new curriculum. One that will help all of us get to the root of the matter. Prayers of exorcism. Records of possessions and hauntings. <sighs> the devil's might is terrible to behold. He comes, prowling like a lion. He waits and hungers, sniffing out that which he can devour. Violent convulsions, speaking in tongues. Then comes the vomiting of excrement and nails and shards of broken glass. But if we act now, it need not come to that. Mother Idolora kept a very comprehensive list of what exactly needs to be done when we are confronted by the dark, and I've kept it safe over the years. I don't believe this. Is this kind of stuff even part of religion? Oh, you'd be surprised, Gabriella. Most don't think too much of the sacred rites. But back in the day, we would war against Satan. Most were priests, true. But Mother Idolora saw to it that we nuns could also defend ourselves, and others if need be. This is so you fucked up. Can you hear yourself right now? All this stuff about Idolora! This is like some kind of cult! This is no cult! The real cults are out there! Their sick words being broadcast to the nation, being taught in morally bankrupt schools, their scriptures printed on books that they sell to children! are being sold as lies to drive you to do what? To succeed in the rat race of a world that only ends in greed and debauchery and sin. 
but what we have here, Gabriella, this is the real thing. That is what every single one of them says, but, you know, keep going, I guess. Do you really think you can keep me here? Yeah, show your teeth. Of course not. These doors were not built to contain. I'm sure you could do it. Break it down till but splinters and shattered wood remains. But I promise you, I will do everything I can to stop you. I'm not as strong as I used to be, but if you wish to leave, you will have to drag me outside this place. And even then, I may fail, yes. But when you crawl out that shattered door, what then will you do? It is a very long walk to the nearest highway, and it's very easy to get lost in the forest. There are all manners of beasts that lurk there. And even once you've found your way home, what then? I'll make sure your mother knows, and I'll leave it up to her on how to deal with your transgression. But even then, I will ask her to send you back to me, and God is in her heart, so she will listen. And so, at the end of everything, you'll find yourself walking right back through the sacred doors which you tried so hard to break. This is not a prison. It is a place of seclusion and worship. A simple temple. And I am just one woman. I cannot stop you from doing anything. But you see, we are a community. And the community can do what a single person cannot. When we work together, we can make sure that no one gets left behind. So please, let me help you. Let me heal you. I think I'll pass. I'm done with this. With all of this. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart. Move! I've made myself clear. I will not. You shall not pass. I said move! Mother Idolora, grant me strength. I will save you. Just let me go! Dearest mother, grant me thy protection. And in protection, strength. And in strength. Oh, sorry. Knowledge. And in knowledge, understanding. Just, just shut up! I'm tired! I'm tired and I'm done! I'm done with all... And in understanding, love, and... <gasps> Well, good job, Adira. G Gabriella? Oh. oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, please, child, say something. Well, that sucks. I didn't. I didn't. It, it, it was an accident. I, oh. it, it, it's all right. I can fix this. I, I told her that I'd help her. God shall provide. Yes, that's right. That's right. Keep being delusional. It's fine. F fixing. All the little broken things in the world. That's what we've been doing all this time, is it not? With man, this is impossible. But with God, with her, all things are possible. This is for the best. This was... This was necessary. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. This is all God's plan. This way... She can stay here, forever, far away from the cruel, cruel world which warps and twists even the greatest of saints into sinners. Cornelia, I can't lose another one. I 
I won't. Well, Rip Gabby. Was a nice ride. Uh, unfortunate. Holy... Liana? What's happening? How do I get... How did I get here? Wasn't there something important I needed to do? Safe and sound. This is relaxing. Now, what was I going to say? Holy... Please... I... really need someone to talk to right now. <laughs> Remember what happened? Yeah, I know how this went. I... Yeah, Kylie Taylor. Liana, what's with that look? <gasps> Remember, brave Kylie. The partisan charm is powered by smiles and happy thoughts. So whatever it is that's getting you down, don't worry about it. Besides, you've got me by your side. Okay? <sighs> okay. So, what's up? Please. Killing me. It still hurts. What if... What if... What if it never comes off? What if it's... Stuck there forever. Huh? What do you mean? Come on, hold still. Let me have a look. Nothing wrong here. Liana, what's gotten into you? Did you have a bad dream? That's probably what happened. Uh, no. My, my knees, they... They were hurting all over. Those are not butt cheeks. Also, those are minus jewels. No. <laughs> Bad jewels. Hey, Panda. Good evening. Those hey. are knees, not Sometimes butt cheeks. Sometimes we get nightmares. Nightmares that feel so <laughs> scary. But it's fine. You're awake now. Whatever scared you... It was all just a dream. Those are not butt cheeks, damn it. <laughs> but this... This is real. Okay? Y'all get me banned on Twitch if you say that. Come yeah. on. You're safe. Rude. You, you're... You're right. I'm feeling better already. There you go. <laughs> well, since you're already up, I was thinking... It's been a while since we've done something together. I know you have been busy, Panda, but how, how, how are things? I hope uh, you're fine. Are you thinking about... Yeah, our secret box. No matter what happens, we could just open it up like we always do. That's right. And then we can get lost in our own little world. We're still on the once human waiting room, right? But what is it now, two weeks? When it releases, or what was that? Stressful, but trying my best to. Yeah, nice. But no news yet, I assume. Excuse me, I need to stretch. Hmm. I've been going for almost three hours without break, so excuse me, the stretch really needed to happen. A perfect world filled with magic and wonder. A world where everyone's happy. A world to call our own, while we wait for something amazing to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. July, July 9th. Yeah, okay, got it. A twist of a key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push? That's all it takes to get to Witchwood! Damn right. <laughs> Alright, you know the drill. I still hope you enjoy your stay, though. Gotcha covered! Uh... Liana? Almost. Okay, got it. Whew. <sighs> Piece of cake. <sighs> Great. Now open it up. Okay, I like to hear that. Happy to hear that. Huh? What are these? Oh yeah, that that's Germany for you. Meetings, phone calls, paperwork. Yeah. Well, that's not our secret box. At least Kylie Taylor is still there, I guess. 
but you know. I don't remember ever buying these. What are you talking about? We've always had them. Silly Holly, spicing, spacing out again, huh? Silly me. You're right. Sorry, I guess I'm still a bit sleepy. Come on, let's finish what we started. Our very own masterpiece. L let's get started. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is nice. Just the two of us, drawing together, just making stuff up as we go. Yeah. Back in this our is so confusing. Life. And there, it's done. <sighs> That's nice. The other one was so so much worse. They did. Um. Was this really what we were working on all this time? Totally. Yeah. Of course. What else could it be? Lovely, isn't she? Wholesome, pure, chaste. There's no second guessing. No desperate search for her place in the world. She's exactly where she wants to be. I mean, those, those two children just did that. The face of a saint, if I ever saw one. In an, uh, in another, um, a while ago, they also painted something, but they painted like hills and rainbows and dragons and witches and, you know. Stuff like that, and now it turned all shit. Because, you know, shit happens. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it, it is a horror visual novel after all, but so far, the jump scares are really scarce. And uh, the main feeling I have playing these games are aggressions. Like, I'm, I'm, re I'm, really, I'm really angry when I play this game. <laughs> Um, there was some cute scenes too, so, you know, but mo mostly anger, though. What, what did you say? Huh? What's wrong? It's just that this isn't right. It ain't finished till we sign it. Signing it? Is that what's missing? Oh, you're right. There you go. By Holly and Liana. <laughs> Holly? There's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? What the... Liana... Miss... Kylie Taylor and the Sorceress of Witchwood. Limited edition cover. Signed. Time to nerd out. There's a letter on the first page. Here is Holly. Surprise! Really hope you like it. Kylie Taylor started a lot of really cool things. But you know one thing you've got over here? You were nice enough to take your little sister along for adventures in Witchwood. Here's to all the stories yet to come. Written in pink ink. Strawberry scent. Liana. Give her a hug. <laughs> Always hugging. <laughs> well, I guess you liked it then. Of course. Hmm. I like this. It's absolutely perfect. Yes, so perfect. But that's what's wrong here, isn't it? No. No. What was that for? This... This isn't how I got the book. What do you mean? I found it. Underneath your bed. You never got to give it to me. Why has this game made you angry? Oh boy. Oh, I I really we, we need to take like a long talk <laughs> about that one huh? later on. I, <laughs> I just gave it to you. It is basically no. the 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 main the main thing in this game is abusive parenting because of religious background and they have been sent to this uh, to this place to change to the better, like because they're sinful and whatever, and the parents are just total dipshits. And the nun that lives there is a total dipshit too, and they're still trying to change her and brainwash her into, you know, it ma it makes me so angry, and you know, but I hate unfinished stuff. So we're gonna finish this game, and then that's about it. <laughs> 
so yeah it's it's a lot of uh, abuse religion bullshit talk and it makes me really angry holly you're scaring me your mind is wandering again holly relax also another thing that makes me really angry is you are forced into specific dialogue so you might as well not have the options to use a certain dialogue yeah, the story makes me angry, yeah. Yeah, basically, the characters are, you know, most of them are like, whatever, I don't really care about them. Um, you know, it got better now that we played it a bit longer between Gabriella and um, Holly. Like, Holly is the main character, Gabriella was the other kid that was sent here. But now, apparently, Gabriella died in a fight, so we are alone again, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's so... No. I wish it were like this. I really do. But this... This isn't how it happened. <laughs> Liana? She's gone. What's that on the floor? Is this the picture we were making? It's coming from outside. Well, also, there's like a supernatural touch to it, but you know, it's whatever, really. Oh, I'm back? Did I ever really leave? But something feels off. Gabby? Sister Adira? Where is everyone? Is it just me, or does the floor seem just a bit cleaner? And the air, not as dusty. It's the same, but different somehow. Am I still dreaming? I need to be careful then. Last time I was dreaming, I ended up... Well, let's not think about that right now. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown. So, did we just travel back in time or what? Of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. Hey! Wait! The holly bears a blossom as white as lily flower. And Mary bore a sweet Jesus Christ to be our dear Savior. Wonderful song. I'm totally invested. Hello? The holly bears a berry As red as any blood And Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ To do a sinner's good Liana? Oh, it's her again. Welcome back. But she wants help. You, you're, you're not Liana. I, I'm sorry. Is she crying? Uh, I should go. I. This isn't. I. I just really needed. Someone to talk to. <laughs> there has been more unsettling stuff than this, so I'm kind of calm right now. I'm just, you know, vibing. <laughs> she ran away. I really should go. Figure out what the hell is going on here. But that wouldn't feel right, would it? Just leaving her to cry all alone? Something I was go always good at doing. But that's what I'm here for, right? To be different. Somewhere in this convent, far away from home, there's a girl. She is crying. Maybe she needs me. Or maybe I need her. Honestly, I really don't know. It felt nice, didn't it? Dreaming up stories. But right now, I need to focus. Come on, Holly. Let's do this. <laughs> Good 
Deep breaths, Holly. Deep breaths. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you're... You're not Liana. We already established that, Holly. Come on. Liana. I yeah. Um, that's the name you keep calling me. Well, if you want, I can try being her again. Would that make you happy? N no That's not... Wait, so... All this time... It's you I've been seeing? <laughs> Probably. Well, she doesn't seem so scary. So... Why were you trying to be her? <laughs> that wasn't my idea. That was yours. What? Every night, you kept calling out to her. So, I decided to play pretend. And you... filled in the blanks. Saw what you wanted to see. So who are you then? It felt nice. Playing pretend. Slipping into your stories. They weren't always happy. But... It was something different. A nice distraction. From what? Why? Because when I'm me, I have to live out my own story. Mm. Over here, it's just the same thing over and over again. <gasps> Someone's coming. It's starting again. Uh huh? What's going? Hello? Oh, hey. Uh, what? Is anyone here? Hello? It's, it's her. Shush, lower your voice. It's ill manners to disturb prayer. Oh, sorry. See, dear me? I told you we shouldn't shout. <laughs> Is everything all right? You were talking to yourself. Oh, sorry. Mom always gets mad at me when I do that. <laughs> it's all right. I do that too. This place has a very special air to it. It's hard not to get caught up in my own thoughts sometimes. R really? You hear that, Dammy? She's just like me. Oh, oops. I'm doing it again. Anyway, Dammy and I are kind of lost. Oh, yes. We used to get lost all the time. I still do, to be honest. We had this conversation before. <laughs> and here I am, chattering away again. How can I help you? Where should I go? Is this the right place? I was told... Oh, yes, yes, of course. Oh, you're looking for our dearest and most admirable... Oh, oh shit, sorry. Okay. Thank you. And, um, sorry for bothering you. My mama tells me I shouldn't disturb people. Sorry, I clicked and, uh, you know, it skipped the dialogue. Oops. Oh, please. I'm here to help. By all means, feel free to disturb me anytime. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> They're getting younger every year. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. It's always good to start early. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Well, knowing how she will end up, uh, I don't think they enjoyed it that much. I'll... I'll try. <laughs> What the hell is going on? That's... That's exactly what she said to me when I first got here. Yeah, I know. That happens sometimes. We've all been doing this. Again and again and again for so long. It all leaks out through little cracks here and there. So that even new people like you start to see it sometimes. W what So... All this time... Look... Here's another one. Mm -hmm. uh, wait! Don't just leave me here! 
Where'd she go? <laughs> Over there. Oh, the drop thing, huh? There you are. I didn't mean it, you know. I was just playing around. It was just so sad and boring here. And most of them were just so mean. Hey! Don't just keep on running! There's some things I want to ask you! <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I was just playing around! I didn't mean to... You... you what have you... <laughs> oh boy, there's the cult again. What the... There she is. Tell me, do you think your sins are going unnoticed, girl? Okay. How many times must we repeat ourselves? I was just... I was just playing around, and then... Did we give you permission to speak, girl? N no No, you didn't. <laughs> hey, stop! Stop that! It's... It's no use. <laughs> what? You can't... They can't see you. They can't hear you. It's not like your dreams. You can't change it. You can't make it happier mm. or... Yeah. Or nicer. You won't be able to. <gasps> Such a mess. Who taught you how to dress, girl? <laughs> and your hands. Do you even wash them? Oh, filthy hands for a filthy liar. Again and again we try to teach you. But if words aren't enough, then perhaps a different type of pill is needed. Please! She's just a child. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was just an accident. And it is children, most of all, who need our special care. Yeah, the, the, this is another scene that we, you know, Stop! had like two hours ago. <sighs> just like with us, with us instead of her. So we're just reliving everything like they did. So, wow. yay. Dare you! This is so strange. Seeing the same thing play out, except this time it isn't me. It never was me. It was always her. And you? Are you just going to stand there with that empty look on your face? Listen. What I just did to her, that was meant for you. I hope you know that. Now go, before I start feeling generous. Well now, looks like we've both made quite a mess of ourselves, <laughs> haven't we? <laughs> oh, there's, there's no need to be afraid. Oh, did you drop this? That's new. Oh, wow. Uh, what a pretty little thing. So, is this who you've been horsing around with? You see? Because, um, it's a horse. Oh, never mind. So, what's her name? Dammy. His name's Dammy. He's a boy. And also, he's not a horse. He's a unicorn. Oh, I... I see. Well, now that I know her... Uh, his name, why don't I get to know yours? It's Cromelia. Oh, uh, we knew this name somewhere. Where did we know that name again? The, the sister was saying that name, I think. Right? Sister, uh... Oh, what a lovely name. You must be proud of it. How about you? What's your name? <gasps> My name? Wow, it's been a while since anyone asked me that. <laughs> Adira, right. You can yeah, call me Adira. <laughs> Sister Adira. 
Okay, well, that... Wait, so why do we see her old and her young thing? Like, was, wasn't the ghost supposed to be dead that we see and, you know, not here? <laughs> and we see her twice then? What is going on here? <laughs> All right. Zero. Now that we've started things off the right way, why don't you tell me... Hmm. Even with three question marks. Interesting. What does Dami like doing on beautiful days like these? He likes flying. Flying around the forest. That's where all his friends are. Like this. Here, let me show you. Ooh. 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 Oh. <laughs> I see. And what types of friends does he have? He talks to the fairies. They're really good at hiding. Sometimes so good that most people can't see them. But I can. I see them all the time. In the air, on the trees. There's one right above your head right now. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> I see. Um, That's nice to know. Uh, but, uh... Listen, Cornelia... I know it must seem like fun and games for you, but talking to things that aren't there, well, it tends to put the others on edge. But, but, but that's not fair. They talk about angels all the time. My mama told me about them. Flaming swords, blinding light, wings and eyes and faces all over. They, they sound so scary. Unicorns are much nicer. Uh, welcome to Ridge and... You know. Well, things like fairies, they're different. They don't quite fit in with the things we believe in. Uh-huh. So, continue that thought a wee bit more? <laughs> I, I know it can be hard, especially when you're the youngest one here. But please, this, this will... All be easier if you just try to maybe fit in a, a bit more, all right? Uh, I could even teach you if you'd like. I'm sure Dammy would like it as well. <clears throat> Come on, Cornelia. It'll be so much fun. That's not what he sounds like. But it was a nice try. So, okay. <laughs> it's a deal. But until then, I want you to behave yourself, mm. all right? Okay. I'll try. She was... She was the only one I liked. I don't understand. How can that be Adira? Adira's still alive. That's what I've been asking. So are you. And still... Every night I see you with your sister, doing things you've already done, pretending that it's all happening for the first time. Well, no, that's... that's different. Is it really? Whenever Liana and I would finish a book, we'd always go back to it, watching the story play out again, even though we knew how it would end. This place... it remembers. And it keeps on remembering. Mostly it's stuff I don't like. But you know what? Whenever it's the parts where I'm with her, I'm okay. Oh. Now I remember. Oh boy. For the next part, I was feeling sad. What are you talking about? <sighs> Sorry. It's easy to get lost here. <laughs> oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, is everything all right, dear? They... <laughs> they took Dammy away. <laughs> they didn't like that he had a horn. <laughs> they said that only demons have horns. 
So much. <laughs> hey, 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 shh, 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 shh. There, there now. Sorry. I, I'm disturbing you again. Hey, shh, shh, tears are nothing to be embarrassed about. In fact, tears have been known to have healing power to them. not to make you a bad person. You're just different. That's all. What happened to that idea, uh, Adira? Like, she's alright. Ish. Like, you know, for a person like her, I guess. This is so strange. But what does this all mean for me? What about Gabby or Adira? The real Adira. Where are they? Am I still dreaming? Is this what's happening there? Thanks. I feel better now. Oh, there you go. Keep that angelic little smile. It suits you. Adira! 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 Where is that girl? Uh, oh! Coming, sister! Cornelia, here, uh, be a dear and continue watering the plants, like we always do, alright? Okay, sure. Also, what's with the fucking tune? I always liked this one. Whenever it's this memory. I like to stay here for as long as I can. Even after doing it over and over again. It still feels nice. Nice and peaceful. Sister Adira, we'd always do this together. Feeding the flowers. Watching them grow. Oh, do you want to help me? Help her? I don't have time for that. I need to find out what the hell is going on here. And that's also fighting Gabby and Adira, the real Adira. I... I can't. Look, I've got some very important questions I want to ask you. Please. It's been so long since I've met someone new. And... I don't like what comes after this. So if you can, stay with me. Just for a bit, please. I... <sighs> Jeez, what do I do? I don't have time for this. Maybe if I help her out, it'd be easier to get some answers out of her. Yeah, let's help her. What the hell? She's just a kid. I can't say no to her. You're a kid too? What the fuck? Alright. Sure. Oh, look at that. A brief moment of peace. That's, uh, that's a really sweet, really sweet picture. I like that. All right, that was sweet. Drink up, flowers. I got your juice right here. Wow, they're all blooming. Nothing at all like how it is now. Do you like it? Sister Adira taught it to me. Sometimes it gets too quiet here. And when that happens, every little noise sounds even louder. Noises that I hear at night. 
She said that singing helps keep the silence away. And so whenever I'm scared and can't sleep, well, <laughs> I can just distract myself with a nice little song. I... I see. Those drawings on her journal. Just thinking about what they might have been doing here. Um, hey Cornelia, that's your name, isn't it? Yep, that's me. Listen, I wanted to ask you... And this red one over here is Squiggly! Huh? <laughs> there you go, Squiggly! Look at him, getting bigger every day! And that yellow one over there is Tulip. I know it's not really a Tulip, but she likes the name just fine. Oh, well, she looks great too. So, you named all of these flowers? Yep, me and Sister Adira. How about that one over there? Oh, she's new. We never got the chance to name her. I know, why don't you give her one? M me Ah, uh, call her Tomato. Hey, let's go with Kylie, we like Kylie. How about Kylie? Kylie... I like that. Well, here you go, Kylie. Drink up. <laughs> you seem to really care for them. Of course. Sister Adira and I... We talk about what the flowers were up to when we weren't looking. I think that fairies live in the flowers. But the other nuns... They don't like fairies. So what's up with the never-ending water in the watering can? Can I have one of those, please? But Sister Adira said that fairies are just angels. Tiny little angels. They dance around the garden, covered in bright colors. And other times, they play pranks on all the people we didn't like. <laughs> it... It was nice. Making up stories. Getting caught up in a little world of our own. <laughs> that does sound nice. The world we share together, the world we I tried so hard to believe were real. It does feel nice, doesn't it? Think pretend. But right now Look, Cornelia, we need to stop this. Huh? Look, I still don't really quite get what's happening, but I need you to stop doing this this pretend thing. All these things that you've been doing, going into my dreams, making those voices. And those... those statues. Adira... not your Adira, but the Adira I know. She... she thinks it's something bad. I didn't mean it. You know, I was just playing around. It was just so sad and boring here. And besides, those statues, that wasn't me. What? What do you mean? Who is it then? There were worse things. Worse things? Like... Like what? I don't really know how to say it. But... It's this place. This whole place. It... It doesn't let us go. It just keeps us here, playing the same things over and over again. <gasps> what? Are you serious? What is that supposed to mean? I... I... really don't know how else to say it, but this place... It changed Adira. It changed her so much. I don't like it. I don't... <sighs> hey. You're her friend too, right? Huh? Um, friends with who? A Adira. Oh. Um... I don't think I'd call him a friend, but... I guess... Sort of. I've been watching her. She's older and... She's different. But I know it's still her. I 
keep trying to tell her that she needs to leave. But no matter how hard I try, she never sees me. Do you think she hates me? Does she? She's never really mentioned her. Honestly, I don't really know. Tell her the truth. It's like what you said. Adira, she's... She's different now. I'm always a fan of say, telling the truth. Time you know. passes and people change, you know? <laughs> Do they ever change back? I'm not really sure. I'd... I'd like her to see me again. Even just once. Me. Thank you for talking to me. It's been really hard. Being all alone. But I think you should leave. Get as far away as you can from this place. And please... Take Dira with you. Oh. This part again. She was sad. <laughs> Sister Adira? Oh! Yes! Yes! Everything's fine! Just fine! Really? I can be pretty sharp too, you know? <laughs> you want me to get a glass? A glass? What are you talking about? For your tears! If we just let them fall, it'll be such a big waste! We gotta save them, so if I start feeling sick, they can heal me! <laughs> Cornelia, that's... that's nice of you, but it doesn't work like that. Look, Cornelia, those colored pencils I gave you, you said you'd only use them to draw on your notebook. I wanted to get back at them. <laughs> they don't see it like that. Listen, vandalizing holy paintings. It might seem like just a prank, but now they're... They're saying that the voices you hear are driving you to do these things. The other girls here won't even talk to me, you know? They call me a witch. And it's all because the sisters keep telling them lies about me. <laughs> they just want what's best for you. The sisters, they hurt the other girls. I hear it at night. They take some of them out. I can hear their voices through the walls. That's not... It's all just to make sure you've learned your lessons well. Mm -hmm. You don't hit me. Why can't they be more like you then? I'm... I'm new here. I'm still learning. I'm... I'm, I'm sure there's a reason. <laughs> this place is horrible. Stop pretending that it isn't. They're hurting you too. I see it. They do it all the time. <laughs> That's why you're sad, right? They're hurting you. Uh, I'm no saint. I can barely manage being a good nun. Is... Is that why you're sad? No, it's not that. I'm fine, it's just... <laughs> I wanted to come here so badly. But here I am, just... Failing at everything. <laughs> Mother Idolora. Now there's the real saint. Uh... <laughs> when I see her at work... It's like God himself is whispering into her ears, just like all the stories. It's magical, really. And I try, I try so hard to be like her. But whenever I pray, I don't hear anything. It's just silent. Maybe they're all right. Maybe I do lack faith. Let's try it. Try what? Praying. Let's pray together. I... Uh, okay. Put your hands together. 
and close your eyes. There you go. Do you hear that? Hear what? No, it's just silence. It always is. Are you sure? Try harder. There. The sound of the birds. And if you listen real close, there's the sound of us breathing. And if you listen closer, there's our heartbeat. It's not silent at all. <laughs> I... I suppose you're right. <laughs> you're sad that you're not a saint, but that's okay. I like you the way you are. Just you. And besides, I don't think I ever want you to be a saint. Because then you'll have healing tears, and that means you'd have to cry all the time. And I don't want you to keep crying. <laughs> you silly, silly girl. <laughs> That's better. Oh, I wanted to give this to you. Made it when the others weren't looking. Do you like it? It's your own little rosary. Okay, so it's from Cornelia. Like, this thing, um, went broken earlier. So, yeah. She was really, um, angry about that. Interesting. Whenever people hurt me or make me sad, Demi was always there for me to talk to. I know it's not the same, but I see some of the sisters talking to their rosary sometimes. So, maybe this can sort of be the same thing. Something to talk to whenever you're lonely. Oh, thank you so much, Cornelia. <laughs> Try it on. I... You're not actually supposed to wear rosaries, dear. They aren't bracelets. Mother Idolora would... Oh. That's enough for a lot for today, I'm tired. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> it has been a day, so... That's completely fine if you're tired. Um... Well, but... Oh, would you look at that? I don't really think this counts as a rosary. Not enough beads for even a single mystery, so I suppose... That just makes it a nice little bracelet. So did you restart another playthrough for an in four, or what's happening? And if anyone asks, well, it can be our own little mystery. How's that? <laughs> Yay! That smile, it really does suit you. <gasps> dun dun dun. There you are. The Mother Superior wants to see you. <gasps> Come with me. It, it's happening right now but she didn't i was told thank new vegas really already miss your ghoul <laughs> wondering without a companion is a little lonely oh to listen to your superiors oh now come help us hey stop <sighs> you little bitch she scratched me! Lord Jesus, you know my burdens. I lay them all on your good shepherd's heart. <laughs> Hold still! I beseech you, and by the merits of the great, open wounds in your heart, and to heal the small wounds that are in mine. Wait! But... Adira, don't just stand there. Help us restrain her! At <laughs> least just... Just talk to her! Don't... Don't hurt her! Heal the pain of my memories, so that nothing that has happened to me will cause me to remain in pain and anguish, filled with anxiety. Let go of her! Please! I, I, was, I was trying to get through to her! Just... Children, please, you'll scare away the birds. <sighs> Mother Delora... I saw two doves the other day. Imagine... If they end up nesting here, well, we'd wake up to their pretty little feathers falling from the sky. Just like angels. Forgive us, Mother. Forgive us. Forgive us. I am graced with your presence. <laughs> Violence is only ever the last resort. 
Let her go, and she will stay. There now, take it in. Good, good. Every breath is precious, a gift from God. Do not take such things for granted, child. Mother Idolora, please. Children her age, they have an overactive imagination. Our mother was speaking, Adira. All is right, Sister Annalyn. Please, find it in yourself to forgive Adira. You are family, after all. And family must love each other unconditionally. Yes, Mother. As for you, Sister Adira, I have given your concerns ample reflection. Cornelia, I have something very special for you, child. I understand that you were upset that we confiscated your little toy. Adira has made its importance very clear. You're lucky to have her on your side. So, we came to a nice little compromise. Here you go. Good as new. Oh, and it's gone, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. No. They, fuck they fucking butchered him. Oh my god. Why, I fixed it. A perfectly fine and normal horse. Beautiful, isn't she? I, I don't like it! As I feared. A proper thank you is in order, child. Mother Idolora herself fixed that. For you. What? No, that's not how... But... Do you not feel that? A crack upon a dam, a blot of ink on silk, a splinter in his grand design. Upon Cornelia, I see horrible, horrible scars. Oh, God, I'm so pissed. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you can't see it. But they blemish your beautiful young face beyond all recognition. You know what your face needs? A bullet straight through. No. Okay, whatever. But worry not. You are in good hands. Just like what we did to your little toy, we can do the same to you. We'll make you new. Perfect. Adira. Yes, mother. Your actions have not been in vain. Even in her broken state, I can sense the love she has for you. Now, let's put that love to good use. Mother, please, I... Tell her to calm down and trust us. Tell her that everything will be all right, as it will. Adira? Adira? I'm scared. Adira. Now, now, I need to ask something of you. Something very important. I need you to go with them, okay? I... I don't want to go. Shh. It's fine. We all just want to help you. Oh, remember the stories? St. Mary, St. Rosa, St. Berna, they heard the calling. It's just like that. Yeah, that's, again, like, the thing we had the conversation with her. <laughs> they just skipped the whole, you know... Remember what I told you? This place... There's a very special air to it. This is a holy place. Here, miracles happen. It's not too far off from magic now, is it? Just, just, just go with her and, and... And you'll be better. That's all, that's all we're trying to do here, after all. <laughs> Helping you to become a proper child of God. 
a child worthy of becoming a saint. <laughs> Please, now, just do this for me, okay? <laughs> okay. Just trust us. Trust me. Come now, Cornelia. We'll fix you right up. I... I should go with her. She needs someone to... You are young, Adira. And you are also strong. So strong. But I must ask you to stay. You have your duties to attend to. But... She is in good hands. We will do our best. Yes. Yes, Mother. There now. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Take her to the room of hosts. Yes, Mother. Where... Where did they take you? C Cornelia? Wh where did you go? C Cornelia? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, what now? I should follow them. It's coming from over here. Oh, there's a hedge, huh? A secret passage. Looks like I ended up finding one after all. Cornelia? Hello? I don't like going in here. Where they put us. The ones they can't fix for everyone else. They come out pure, clean, perfect. But for the ones they don't like, we don't get to leave. Oh, they're just staying there. I couldn't leave. Oh, come on. I tried, but they wouldn't let me. I kept screaming and screaming, but they wouldn't listen. They all just kept praying. They said they'd make me better. They told me there were bad things. Bad things inside me. That I was bad for having the bad things inside me. Why? Why are the bad things inside me? It was so hard to breathe. And then, after what seemed like forever, it was easy. So easy. But, you know what the worst part was? Even then, when I thought it was all finally over, I still couldn't leave Cornelia there's so many of them too C Cornelia she's here oh shit Holly are you here not here not here where is she Oh, Holly, is that you? Oh, thank God. Adira. Oh, I feared the worst. I have been looking all over the convent. How did you even end up here? Quick, let's leave this place. We can pray together and, and sort all this out in the chapel. Holly, come now. <laughs> is something wrong, child? Holly, are you, are you yourself? Remember the prayers. It's okay, Adira. I'm, I'm me. 
Always have been. Just... What is this place? <sighs> this place? Well, it's nothing. Just a simple storage room. For things that we no longer use. For things you've tried to fix. Well, that's not... No. No, no, no. I told you, it's, it's a storage room. Mm -hmm. An honest witness does not deceive. But a false witness pours out lies. Proverbs. What? What are you? For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest. Nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. Luke. Child, I, I need you to come with me this instant. You are getting worse. Prayers. Prayers will block out the satanic voices that have been whispering into your oh, ear. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not whispers. It was actually a very nice casual conversation, but I guess when you're not willing to listen, everything sounds like a whisper. Oh, Miss Beltran, just what are you on about? Cornelia. Does that name sound familiar? How do you know her name? She told me herself. What? No, the... That can't be. You two were friends. She trusted you. Don't you remember? She... She was ill. Very ill. Seeing things that weren't there. Hearing voices in her head. Uh-huh. Mother Idolora suspected the worst. Is that why she killed her? <gasps> How dare you! She did no such thing! Mother Idilora was saving her. Then what happened to her? She never left this room, did she? Her, her body was too weak, and the devil, he was too strong. <sighs> Mother Idilora tried her best. Do you really believe that? Enough! You, you are not yourself, Holly. You need to leave this place and pray. We both need to leave this place and pray. Pray. Stop making excuses! She killed her! I saw it all! <sighs> noise. It's hard for me to think when you are making so much noise. Distractions. So many distractions. She, she, would, she would never do such a thing. She told me so. We are all family. Perfect, loving sisters. And perfect, loving sisters never, never hurt each other. Uh-huh. Sure. Adira, please. You need to listen to me. I have given my life to uphold the sanctity of this convent. I will not listen to such slander against my family. Adira? Adira, where are you going? To a place where I can have silence. Don't just ignore what I said! <laughs> Adira, please, open up! I agree, Jules. That, that's a big plus for this game. Like, that's not a much... That's not much I... Uh, yeah, yeah. The voice acting is very good. Let's say it that way. Like, I, I'm struggling to, you know, keep keep myself focused. Because I was like, yeah, this game maybe has two more hours left, and now we're four hours in. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the voice acting is really, really good. Like, I enjoy that in this game. Also, I'm sad we, we won't be able to hear Gabby again. Which kind of sucks, but, you know. And Mary, full of grace. Adira! Oh, she just said that. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. She's not listening. Gabby! Gabby, are you there? Gabby is dead. Get me out of here! Damn it! 
I'm shaking. Is it really that cold or... Calm down, Holly. <laughs> you shouldn't have talked to Adira like that. It doesn't help. It never did. We have a system, remember? A system that works. Does it really? Because I've never been happy with it. I'm not sorry. Deep breath, Solly. Deep breath. I don't really know what's going to happen, but... You will be fine. We will be fine. A heartfelt secret. A spell key. And a little push. That's all it takes! Right? Right? I'm no Kylie. I've got no magic of my own. But... But... That's okay. That was never her strength. Need to keep trying till someone hears me or till this door breaks down. Either way, I'll just keep making noise. Anything to keep the silence at bay. Bruh. Oh god, Adira. Just what are you doing? Did she... was she really? Yes. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, bless me with wisdom. You know, why even have a choice if it's already the same thing anyway? Like, oh, uh, come on. You might as well have this be a movie and just, you know, let, let one click through it and that's about it at this point. Guide me so that my heart may see the truth. I know there's there's probably a reason behind that, like, you know, the inner you know, struggle and whatever and yada yada, but... Uh. Don't tease me with a choice if I don't have one, you know? The truth. Yes. Mother Idolora, she was a saint. A true saint. Do you hear that? Somewhere in this convent is a safe and quiet place. It has clean white walls with paint that never peels. Heavenly castles with angels fluttering past stained glass windows. You just need to focus, Adira. Let your mind wander to a safe haven amidst the clouds. She is being very stubborn. Yes, she is. But who could blame her? Locked up in the dark like that. Someone should really help her out. It was me. I locked her up. <sighs> hey, she's still alive. Let's go. Oh. And her. I heard her snoozing. I... I... It wasn't my fault. I was trying to save her. Oh, but what now? What now? Find that silent space, Adira. Find that quiet space. Silence! Quiet silence, distractions, so many distractions. I, I can't take it anymore. Oh, Mother Itinora, look what they've done to you. I, I've been so busy. I haven't been able to. The blood. It's everywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. This won't do. This won't 
do? Out! Out, you filthy stains! Out! <laughs> well... Yeah. Who could have seen that one coming? Supposed to watch over all the children, but, but now all the time I spent. But but I I worked so hard. You can still fix it. <laughs> We want it. We've been doing that for a long time, haven't we? Hey, she's seeing herself now. We learned how to do it. We learned it so well. You, you, you can't be. I, I'm seeing things. Funny. So eager to believe in angels and saints. Yet the moment you see yourself, that's when the doubt starts creeping in. No. No. You're not real. You can't be. Maybe I'm not. It's hard to tell when you've lived most of your life in this place. This convent. There really is a special air to it. There really happened there? with the air, huh? Something almost... magical. But there's one thing we both know was very real. Don't you remember? In this very room, we came here crying begging Idolora to tell us what happened to her, to Cornelia. And she just looked at us with those calm eyes. Do you remember what she said? <laughs> no, no, stop it! Quiet! Silence! You're a distraction! Just a distraction! She said that. There are some souls that not even God's light can reach. And that was it. We never saw her again. No one ever spoke another word of her. No matter how many times you asked any mention of her name. Met with silence. <laughs> That's not how it happened. You are lying. The, the child was sick. Mother Idolora said she was sick. She, she was sick and she tried to heal her. She didn't, she didn't mean to. Yes. That's the story we ended up telling ourselves. We had to. How else could we go on? <laughs> Returning to our everyday routine. Praying alongside all our other sisters. Oh, and singing too. What was it we were praying for again? We, 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 we were... Oh, surely you remember. A proper sister of Saint Idolora would of course know. <laughs> the grace of God. The... Good of the ch children. <laughs> the good of the children. <laughs> it was unbearable. We couldn't leave our sacred vows. We can't ever leave. So we did the only thing we could do to make the pain go away. We forgot. We made sure we forgot. 
No. We cleaned the convent so well, didn't we? Her stuffed toy. That prayer journal she used to scribble on. <laughs> Packed them all up. Stuffed them into boxes. Never to be seen again. Praying and cleaning and praying and cleaning. Till even the songs we used to sing to her faded from memory. Removing all the stains. Till every trace of her was gone. Well, almost every trace. But even the bracelet's broken now, isn't it? Did we keep the pieces? I... I tried to fix it. <laughs> fix it? Oh yes, we're very good at fixing things, aren't we? We fixed everything. Made everything so perfect. Why shouldn't it be? Her world. It's Laura's world. Heaven on earth. We did it, didn't we? We behaved like the perfect little saint they always wanted us to be. We earned our place, but even with all that effort, we never really did fit in. We still never really belonged. Those divine voices that Ida Laura and all the other sisters claimed to hear, we never heard them. Though, I suppose it would be hard to hear anything when deep down, all we've ever really heard are the cries of that one little girl. Damn. No, 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 stop. Stop it. But the truth hurts, huh? <laughs> Dearest Mother Edelora, please wash my blood-stained hands. Tear off the lying flesh of my limbs. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Scoot. Sculpt by every action. <laughs> we never really had a choice in the matter, did we? We needed to survive. And so survive we did. Mm. <laughs> Stay away! I will not listen to you! I will not! I will not! You're still hearing her. Aren't you? I hear her too. All the time. <laughs> For all her talk about perfection. She was very good at leaving her mark on people. Wasn't she? Shut up! Not another word! We weren't able to save Cornelia. But please, Adira. Now there are two girls right here, very much alive. We can stop it. Please. But what can I do? If I let them go, after this, they will tell. Then you can confess. All this time. That's all we've ever wanted, wasn't it? But the Order's name will receive the judgment it deserves. Please, Adira, let's end this. I... I... What if... what if she's right? I cannot let this continue. No. Our work here was... <sighs> Everything, this convent, I gave it everything. If Mother Idilora was wrong, then my whole life is meaningless. Please, listen! <laughs> the thing is as liar now. Interesting. No! Silence, 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 silence. silence. Dearest Mother Idolora, fill the cracks that sin has left upon me. Drowning me out with prayer? Oh, she's noise. And paint a smile on my face so that I can become the woman of God that you want me to be. I'm used to that. So is Cornelia. 
Sana! She's... She's gone. Has it passed? There's always that one moment. That one key moment. Where God calls stronger and more desperate than ever before. <gasps> it is these moments that truly separate the saints from the sinners. Who's, who's that? My dear Adira, my sweet, strong Adira, have you forgotten me? Oh, time really has ruined you, hasn't it? <gasps> Mother Italora, you're... you're here. How? Oh, child, I never left. I've been watching you all this time. All your struggles. Your pain. Your victories. And your failures. My, my failures? The, the girls, Gabriella, she, she tried to leave. I had to do something, and Holly, the, the thing she was saying, I couldn't... Oh, Adira, look at you, rambling on again. You really haven't changed, have you? <laughs> When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whoever restrains his lips is... is prudent. Chapter and verse. Pro Proverbs 1019. There you are. <laughs> Good to see you still remember. I was so worried. You've always had... Uh, Difficulties when it came to the scriptures. By no means your fault. Your mind just has a tendency to wander, indulging itself with wasteful distractions. But we managed to fix that. It took some time, but we did, didn't we? That's another little typo here. Like, you know, just, just saying. Yes. Yes, we did. There, there are not a lot of typos, though. That's another good thing about the game, I guess. <laughs> so, we got two positive things about the game. M Mother Edelora, <laughs> what happened to Cornelia? What, what you did? It's not true. Right? She looks like a boss in Final Fantasy XIV. Like, she's spreading some wings and then she's shooting some lasers or something. Like, this could be a boss in Final Fantasy XIV, I think. I mean, I know it wasn't true. The horrible things she said about you. You didn't. Right? Oh, no, no, no. Adira. It's worse than I thought. Oh, is this what years without my guidance has done to you? Every waking moment is a moment we dedicate to prayer. Not just through our actions, but through our thoughts. And so, every thought which praises the divine is a blessed hymn. Whilst every doubt, every idle musing, every stray idea, is what? Is this like the, who, who, who wants to be a millionaire, like the million dollar question or what? Like, come on, this is not a fucking game show. Is, is a curse, a sin, an indulgent distraction that the devil feeds upon? Chapter and... Verse. Uh, um, it, it's not from the Bible. It's, it's from you. <laughs> that it is. Now that we've cleared that up, 
we can start over the right way. <gasps> yes, Mother. Forgive me. I am graced with your presence. So, now we attend to the present. Looks like you've made quite the mess. <gasps> yes. I'm sorry. That's all right. When there's a mess, we clean it up. Simple as that. <gasps> clean it up? But... but how? If you look deep within yourself, Adira, I think we both know what needs to be done. The devil festers now more than ever in the hearts of the young. And our efforts in this glorious war against Satan himself... <sighs> lacking. You've always been so sweet. But right now, I need you to be strong. And don't you worry. Remember, I am mother to the Order. And a mother can be... Whatever her children need her to be. So, what do you need, child? I... I need you. I've... I've been alone for so long. Oh, sweet, strong Adira. You were never alone. Hey. My, my sisters. They're here for you, Adira. We're all here for you. It's, it's all so perfect. I'm home. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. You are forgiven. Now, let's turn those words into action. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. All clear to me now. We do things step by step. First, we assess the damage. Broken shards of her image shattered across the floor. We shall pick them up. They are sharp to the touch. Nasty little edges that cut and hurt and maim. But that is alright. She is now guiding me. Second, we picture how it all used to look. Yes, now I remember. We will put her back together. Grander than ever before. She will be perfect. She will be beautiful. Oh, and there's the candles. Yes, we will need to light them. One for each of one of my dear sisters. And I have so many sisters. The convent will be bathed in brilliant, radiant flame. Third, we reflect. But there's no need to reflect anymore. After all, she's here. Now, I need only listen. Which brings us to the final step. I will turn her words, our words, into action. Someone's coming. Uh, Adira! Holly! Oh, sweet, sweet Holly! Adira, what's that for? Rejoice! Rejoice! W what? They're back! They're all back! I don't like this. Adira? Please, let's talk about this. I need you to let me out. Then, then we can, we can get Gabby. And then, and then we can call someone. Call someone to help, okay? Call someone? I've already called someone. Who are you gonna call? And she answered. <laughs> oh, she's here. She's 
finally here. She finally heard me. Who's here? Why, Mother Idolora, of course. Oh, don't worry. You'll see her soon. She looks so beautiful. Wait, no! <clears throat> My my head. Uh, what makes a saint? <clears throat> Teresa of Avila. Now there was a holy woman. She'd swallow olive branches in order to vomit. That way, when she would receive the host, her stomach would be devoid of all impurities. Rosa de Lima. She took fire to her face when she realized that her beauty was tempting men to sin. Mm -hmm. Saint Clair of Montefalco suffered from great sickness, but in her death, a tiny crucifix was found in her heart, and three gallstones, bloody and whole. The Trinity was inside her to the very end. What makes a saint? And then, of course, the greatest of all, Christ, the Son of God himself, nails into flesh, tortured, speared, crucified. And after all that, his body wrapped in linen, entombed in the dark for three days. <sighs> the answer becomes clear then, doesn't it? What's, what's that smell? I cannot breathe. G Gabby? Gabby, wake up! Oh god, what did you do? Oh, don't worry. She just took a nasty bump to her head. But she's fine. In fact, she'll be joining you soon. Atira, what's... What's going on? Terrible. So terrible terrible that the beast comes for the fresh spirits of the young but do not worry you are in good hands okay she is clearly not herself uh, she needs to calm down tell her that you're feeling better sister adira you're absolutely right i'm feeling better now my soul feels lighter. Please, I can help you. Just let me go, and I can help you. Help? No, I am the only one who can help you now, child. Look, I have a surprise for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's your graduation ceremony. What is this, Danganronpa? Rejoice. You are about to become a proud alumnus of St. Idolora's recollection. Adira, please, let's talk. Let's just talk. Shh, 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 shh. It's all right. It's all right. No, please, Adira. It may take hours, days even. But you will stay there for as long as you need to. Well, that's just great. No, 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 no! Wait, I... cannot move. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot breathe. <laughs> cannot breathe. Cannot move. Cannot see. And the poor girl must have no voice left after this. Yeah, I know, right? So much screaming in the booth. <laughs> Probably. I mean, voice actor usually have, you know, the ability to minimize the damage. Like, you know, not use the cords in a way to actually damage them, I guess. I, I'm not sure at all. I could be wrong. What should I do? 
I need to stay awake. Deep breath, Sully. Deep breath. Oh no. No, 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 no. Noise. So much noise. Running out of air. It's so hard to stay awake. So? What happened? Come on, you can't just keep me waiting like that. Oh, uh, I don't know. You were just reading the ending of the best book ever. Oh, that's right. Come on! Oh, yeah, sure. She had a skip in her step and a smile on her face. Knowing that the forest was not so dark after all. I feel like I've forgotten something. Something important. Huh? Holly? Are you... Are you crying? N no No, I'm not. Aww, you liked it! Sh shut up! <laughs> I'm glad I was right. I knew you'd like it. This place. This room. What is happening? How did I... How did this go again? Hmm... I thanked her? No. That's not right. Holly? That's not how it went. We need to be careful, though. Well, I guess I fucked up then. Huh? You know how mom gets Liana. We can't let her catch us with any of this. We just... Okay, here we go. What's that? Well, from now on we need to keep all this stuff in here, got it? And afterwards we gotta hide it. It's somewhere they'll never look. We can't take any chances. You'll be in trouble if mom ever finds out. Me? What about you? Well, you're the one that brought the book here. I was just reading it for you. Sheesh. Okay, fine. Did you at least like it? It was okay. That was a lie. You really liked it. And you hated how you liked it. Because liking it meant you had to take all these extra steps to make sure you could continue like. She can never find out. <laughs> Liana. This again. Am I dreaming? Yeah, it's all fine. Now, what was I going to say? Did she make you... Were you kneeling the whole time? The salt... It stuck to your skin. <laughs> I was able to fix this. That's how it went, right? You wish you did that, didn't you? Tell her story. It would have been just like reading a book to her. But that's not what happened. I told you. <laughs> but you didn't listen, did you? And you know you made it even worse by answering back, right? <laughs> you just never listen. And look, it's trouble for everyone now. Just... Just shut up! <laughs> <sighs> okay, let me see. No! <laughs> Come on, don't be stubborn. Just let me... Help! Brushing off the salt of her wound. Another task, another chore. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it? <laughs> Shh! Be quiet! Don't let them hear you cry. It just makes it worse. Stupid, Liana. Jeez. Cleaning up your mess. So much trouble. There you go. That's most of it. <laughs> but, it's, but it's still there. Shh. Stop it. Liana, stop it. I, I want to die. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Diana? Uh, Holly? Please? I... I really need someone to talk to right now. No. No, no, no. Please, not this one. Yeah, I'd love to do that. For us, that book always had the right answers. But that's not what happened that night. I know you're awake. You're never asleep at this time. It's been a while since we've done something together. They may have taken everything else. But... But we still have the box. Your secret box. That's... That's what matters. No matter what happens, I could just open it up and play. Just like we always do. I know. I know. Playing with spell keys is too childish, but there's still the last few chapters of the last book. There's, there's also caverns and krakens. I know you like that game. You could even finish the map we made. I feel wrong working on it alone. Liana, we never did finish that map, did we? If I only said yes, I wish I said yes. But I didn't, didn't I? No, I can't. That's not how this happened. <laughs> Holy... Please? Go to sleep, Liana. how it feels mom used to make me do that too but then i learned it's time you started learning too i get it you hate me you hate me just like everyone else in this house no liana i don't hate you what i hate is how you just never get it how you can't ever seem to keep your mouth shut. How you're careless and clumsy and you break things. And how you always do the things I tell you not to do. I did not take it back. No amount of pretending is going to change that. I have a system. We have a system. And it works. I try so hard to keep us out of trouble. But you always find a way to mess it up, don't you? Uh. Well, what if I just don't want to take it anymore? I get it. You think you're so good at this. And you make it look so easy. But I can't be like you. I can't smile and get good grades and nod my head. Whenever they say things that hurt me, and how they always make it about God, about how every little thing I do is some horrible sin, I'm, I'm tired, Holly. I'm tired of doing this. So am I. So let's not do this. Let's both go to sleep before we land ourselves in worse trouble. And forget about that stupid box. It's full of stupid things that I'm too old for. Just let it go and grow up. <sighs> You're a coward, Holly. A coward! And you're a mess. That's why they all like me better. Uh, 
there's no stopping this. I've already given my answer. You don't get to choose for me anymore. Good night, Liana. Where's Liana? I don't know. Liana! Liana! Where is that girl? Liana! Liana? Liana! I cannot breathe. Am I am I going to die? So this is it then. This is how it ends. Liana? No. No. It is not her. It was never her. She's scared. Dying scared and alone. No one deserves that. Hey, C can you hear me? I know. Oh, I skipped, sorry. I know. I hate it. I hate it. Again. I don't really know, but still, I should say something, anything. I... I wish I could say that it'll all be okay, but... But that's not true, is it? I don't know, Cornelia. I really don't know. <laughs> hey, Cornelia... You told me that you and Adira used to tell each other stories. Stories about the fairies who live in the flowers. Yeah. Well, well, let's do that. I'm not sure if it'll help, but... But it's something. There were once two girls. Sisters, and they lived in a house that was always a little too clean. A little too perfect. The white walls and pretty paintings. All they did was hide what was really going on. They weren't happy there. <laughs> Do. Well, they wished. 
They wished and they wished, and one day their wish was granted. J just like that? Yeah, just like that. They were whisked away to a magical place. A beautiful place. A place where fairies darted in and out of knot holes. Where naiads would pop their little heads out of the riverside. Their fins shining like sapphires. It was there that they learned magic. Magic? What kind of magic? The good kind. The kind that made flowers bloom and the water sweet and summoned the summer breeze to cool them after a long day. Could they walk on water and and talk to lions? <laughs> yeah. And and you know what? They even met a unicorn. <gasps> he had a horn and it wasn't like a bad horn, right? It wasn't a devil's horn. No, of course not. It was one beautiful horn. It was golden and twisted like those little shells you'd find on the beach. The two would get into all sorts of adventures. Mapping out the forest, casting spells to make the trees grow so high, they'd touch the sky. And no matter what, they protected each other. They loved each other. <sighs> I wish that were me. <laughs> me too. But... But why didn't that happen to me? I also wished... I wished so hard. I'm still wishing, but... Am I a bad person? No. No, you're not. <laughs> they said I would grow horns. <laughs> Ugly, twisted horns. Don't listen to them. You're not a bad person. You aren't. And why? Why am I still here? Why can't I go there? Well, that's the thing about stories. They make sense, don't they? The good guys always win. And if you're a good girl, then you get your happy ending. Because you've been through so much. And no one ever dies for no reason. But... That's not how things are. Right? Real life is full of people who can hurt you. It's full of bad things, and it doesn't make sense. And there's no magic, no fairies, no spells to make it all go away. <laughs> Damn it, I really messed up the story, didn't I? <laughs> I'm usually really good at making up stories, but, but I'll tell you something I've never been good at. Telling the truth. I... I... Wasn't there... For my sister... That night... She fell... She fell down... And the worst part was... I don't think... I don't think she died right away... On the ground... I think she was calling for help. And I... I heard her. I heard her fall. But I thought I was just dreaming. I just went back to sleep. She died alone. She died alone, and I didn't do anything. All this time, I've been making up stories to make myself feel better. 
I wish I was a better sister, but... <laughs> but I wasn't. She's gone. She's gone, and no matter how much I pretend, she's not coming back. But... But I'm here right now. For you, okay? I can't give you a happy ending. But if there's anything I can do to make you feel better, I just want you to know you don't have to be alone. I'm here with you. <laughs> Thank you. That... That sounds nice. Really nice. It feels good. For someone to see me. To talk to me. No, I never really did that. Adira. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, do you think she hates me? Is that why she can't see me? Um, well, she was the only one, you know. <laughs> All the others. All the things they said about me, but <laughs> but if even Adira hates me and maybe <laughs> maybe they were all right. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure about Adira, but she kept the bracelet. She still wears it, and she seemed very upset when it broke. <laughs> and I know it sucks, people just forgetting, but... But I think they do it because remembering what happened, what really happened, it's... Painful. I... I would know. But... But I'm done with that. I'll remember you. Not as some sort of ghost. Or some demon like what they all said you were. Not as some sort of saint, either. You're... You. The girl who cared for flowers made them grow the girl who liked unicorns who got into all sorts of trouble just because she wanted people to notice her to love her i'm not sure how much that matters but i won't forget you i will always remember you and liana Thank you. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Well, at least, at least I was here for her. Feeling dizzy, so dizzy. Still need to just stay awake. It would be easy just to go to sleep now, but I need to stay awake. I cannot stop. Not yet. Holly, you oh, there? Oh, you there? Sorry. Is that... Gabby? Gabby! Felt secret, a spell 
I'm all out of secrets, but I can still push, and maybe, maybe those are the only magic words I ever needed. <laughs> What's that? Oh Jesus. Okay. Good job repairing that, I guess. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Perfect. Flawless. Just as I always imagined her to be. Looks kinky, I mean sure. <laughs> Watch over me, just like she'll be watching over you too. Adira, you need to listen to us. You need help. Shh. No, no, you need to listen. Do you hear that? They are here. I hear them. All cheering me on. To do what needs to be done. Adira, you need to let this go. Just look around you. This place is burning down. <laughs> you think fire has a chance of tarnishing these sacred halls? No. No. This place will last forever. You only need to have a little faith. Besides, my youth has long passed. There's, there's no dreams left for me. There's only, only there's the voices. The beautiful eternal voices. After all this time, after years and years of lonely silence, I, I can finally hear them. You're wrong. Hmm? It was never silent, was it? If you just stop and listen, there's the sound of birds and the rustling of leaves in the wind, the sound of us breathing. Even our heartbeats. Then there's Cornelia. <gasps> I talked to her, you know. All this time. She's been calling out to you. Trying so hard to be heard. But you couldn't hear her, could you? You were too busy. Too busy chasing after some perfect little dream of... Of what? Heaven on Earth! You ended up getting distracted from what really mattered! <gasps> no! Mother Edelora said... To hell with Mother Edelora! I know the eyes are supposed to be, you know, tense and whatever, but her eyes are just... a wee bit too much for my taste. I'm 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 not a, I'm not a game designer in any way, but this is really ruining the moment for me. Sorry, but you know. I'm done keeping my mouth shut. Listen to what I am telling you right now. I know what it's like to get caught up in a story that you want so badly to be real, but that's not gonna change anything. It never does. Also, I never thought about it, but Holly is larger than Gabby, which is insane to me. In my head, Holly was like, you know, way smaller. So that's interesting too for me. You 
told me that we each have our own story to play out. Stories that help us leave our mark on the world. Well, guess what? Cornelia? She doesn't have a statue. Not even a single stone to mark her grave. You just forgot about her. Swept it all under the rug, because it was easier that way. If I never came here, no one would have ever known she was here. That she lived. She... She still left her mark here. Hasn't she? And so have you. Not through some stupid miracle. You... You were there for her when no one else was. Watering the flowers. Listening to her stories when no one else would. Talking to her through that silly little stuffed toy. The flowers. I remember the way they bloomed. Yes. Yes. So it was her. Yeah. She wants to see you as well. Even after everything that happened, she still thinks of you. She still wants to talk to her older sister one more time. <gasps> I... I... Cornelia... <gasps> She, she's waking up. Uh, uh, mother, uh, well, shit. About fucking time this happens, I guess. <laughs> what? What's happening? It's all. It's all burning down. Fucking finally. <laughs> Now it's us, yeah? Out of my way! Hey! Like a skilled master builder. It was her. She laid the foundation. And I will not let it burn! Wait! Where are you going? I have to fix it. I have to save it. Stop! The hell do you think you're doing? Don't just stand there. Water! Get some water! Anything! We need to... Let it go, Adira. There's nothing we can do. Wait, now Holly is smaller than Gabby. 
Okay, now I'm confused. But it's okay. Whatever. Does she, does she look different? Like in the other cutscene? Am, am I imagining things? Am I just tired? Okay, anyway, anyway, let's move on. Also, sorry, I really hate to interrupt, uh, you know, when they are talking. Like, in a, in a, in a, you know, it's, I really hate it when other people do that. So I've been silent for the, like, the last half hour or something, so I'm really sorry about that. But, you know, I just want to, I just want to uh, get the, get the conversation in before I say anything about it, so. Different art styles? Okay, so there's something different then. I got it. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. God's building. Hadira. She trusted me. She trusted me to tend to her legacy. Hadira! Will you listen for once? This is why you never heard her. Huh? I, I, I did. I did hear her. She, she appeared before me just like she said she would. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one left to follow her. I'm not talking about Ida Laura. <laughs> I'm talking about Cornelia. <laughs> Cornelia? No. No, 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 no. She... She... That over there... It's just wood. Wood and concrete things could have been much worse i mean and a few corpses and you know <gasps> worse <laughs> how could any of this be worse don't you remember you knocked me out and her you locked her up trapped her in one of those those boxes <laughs> i i did that no, I didn't. I didn't mean to. Mother Italora, she, she said it would fix everything. She told me we'd make everything better. Just like before. You can give whatever name you want to your sins. That doesn't really fix things. <gasps> Looks like the foundation wasn't that strong after all. <gasps> Adira, when we first met, you gave me a journal. Told me to keep a record of my thoughts. Something about looking back on the old with new eyes. The stuff I ended up writing and any real oh, thoughts sorry. I'd have, I'd just tear off the page and throw it away so no one could ever see it. <laughs> the book's probably ashes by now. Guess my Kylie Taylor book's gone as well. But if I had to start somewhere, I'd try to remember what I wrote down on those crumpled pieces of paper. <sighs> I... I just wanted to help. Help do some good in the world. <laughs> no, that's not it. Remember what we told her all those years ago? I just wanted a place to belong. And how'd that turn out? <laughs> well, looks like you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Hopefully this time, you do it right. <gasps> Yeah, I, I agree, Jules. Also, I'm not sure if I like this new Holly, too. She, the thing is, she's not only quote-unquote badass, she's also 
uh, really condescending now. Like she, she figured out her own stuff, and she was like, "Yeah, what? You know, you do, you, 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 you bad, you, you, you bad, you know." So I don't know. Um. Yeah. Nah. I I don't know. Let's get going, Gabby. Y yeah. It's a long walk back home. Better get started. And Adira, <gasps> when you're ready. You should start, too. Special... Silence... Heaven on Earth... Helping the children... Mother! Mother! Are you there? Answer me! Say anything! Just anything! You said we would fix them. I did everything you asked of me! Every single day! I tended to your church, the statues, I kept them clean! The prayers! I memorized all the prayers! I, I taught! I taught all your teachings! I gave you everything! <laughs> Even... Even Cornelius... And still... Silence... Trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. <gasps> Singing keeps the silence away. You taught me that. Remember? I, I did. I, I, I did. I, I said that. Here you go. <gasps> You kept it, didn't you? I... I tried. I tried to fix it. <laughs> Did it help? Help? W would you... That's why I gave it to you. Just a little something to talk to. In case you ever got lonely. <gasps> hey, Goldine. No, it... it didn't. I... I didn't. I never did. I would have listened. I've been listening all this time. Cornelia! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry. Thank you, Goldie. Nope, no crotch cam. Never, ever, nope. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much, mate. I hope you're doing well, though. I've been horrible. Such a fool. Shh. It's okay to cry. Goldine, this is a very Cornelia. emotional moment. Cornelia. <laughs> it's good to see you again. What's a nobody wants that? Stop lying. Friends don't lie. <laughs> 
Feel that. Yeah. Oh, look at them. That cool mountain air. Makes you wish we signed up for a summer camp like the normal kids. <laughs> hey, Gabby. Yeah? Thanks for helping me out back there. Well, yeah. Waking up to that. I have no idea, Goldie. Like, I, I'm not watching any of the matches or reading any on the news. I just don't care. At all. Must have been terrifying. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what happened back there. But those things you said to Adira. That sounds like a lie, Goldine. I always lose against the hunger. Huh? Huh? Nobody? Okay, sorry. It was nice. Hearing you get that off your chest. Well, I'm still learning. That's fine. So am I. <laughs> What's so funny? Just look at us. Out of breath, stumbling through the night. I've got ash on my skin and mud all over my feet. <laughs> Not exactly the happy ending you wanted. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, I'm feeling happy now, strangely enough. I guess that's what matters. Is that guy still playing soccer? I don't even know. Like, I, I, I really don't care. Like, the last time I watched soccer was when... God, it must be... It was pre-corona, too. So, whatever. <laughs> so, what happens next? <sighs> um, I'm not really sure. It's a long walk to the nearest town. We find a phone. I can give my mom a call. Maybe she can pick us up. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even know how I'm going to explain all this to her. But you know what? Maybe... Maybe that's the first step. What do you mean? I want to talk to her. Like, really talk to her. About my dad. About the faith. How I really feel. Well, that's gonna go well with that kind of parent, I feel like. And in the end, she might not listen, but... <laughs> near-death experience, freaking ghosts, a burnt-down convent. You gotta admit, it's one hell of a conversation starter. So, who knows? Maybe she'll be open to it. Most pro- no. It's just no, Goldine. At all. Not- not at all. I see. How about you? That's... That's actually a good question. No, Goldine. Uh, streaming today was... I planned to stream for like two hours to finish off the game, but somehow we're streaming five hours now, so... I'm just, you know... I'm just finishing off this game and then we're gonna cut it tonight. I won't be going home. I think it's best I leave that place behind. Where will you go, though? Haven't thought that part through, to be honest. I've got a cousin who cut herself off from her family. Maybe... Maybe she'll let me stay with her. Come on, Goldie. <laughs> no, I won't. Nobody wants to listen to me ramble. Well, you could also stay with us, even if it's just for a bit. I, I mean, we've got a spare room in my house and, well, if 
if everything goes well with my mom, then um, we can work things out. That would be a wonderful ending for those two, actually. Yeah, sure. I, I'd really like that. Yeah, great. Cool. Mm -hmm. You can watch like eight hours of this game on on the YouTube channel coming tomorrow, so <laughs> if you want to. Man, I'm starving. That's one thing I do miss about my mom. Looking forward to her cooking. I I'm not gonna recap uh, at the end of the game, so no, I won't. <laughs> can you imagine how weird it's gonna be? A lot of trauma. A lot of religious uh, abusing parents, drama, trauma, you know, on both sides, on Holly and it's Gabby's true, side. showing up looking like this. <sighs> Looks like we've got one hell of a story to tell her over dinner. <laughs> yeah, it'll be weird. It'll be different. And I'm okay with that. Somewhere in this forest is a stream. It's there. I can't see it, but if I listen hard enough, I can hear it. If we're lucky, maybe we'll pass by a flower bed and a grove full of old trees, just like the ones in storybooks. I'm sure you would have loved it, Liana. And I'm not sure if these words will reach you, but for what it's worth, I do still owe you a story. It's all jumbled up. I'm still trying to put all the pieces back together, but I can at least tell you how it ends. And so, we both kept walking, Aww. hand in hand through the trees. The sound of leaves crunching beneath our feet, but underneath the light of the moon, with the glow of fireflies lighting the path and the warmth of her hand on mine, the forest was not so dark at all. Not in the slightest. That was a sweet picture. Oh, jeez, Louise. So, this game... <sighs> Man. Uh, happy Pride Month indeed, yeah. Like, I mean, I ship it, I guess. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's fine. I, I, I can, I can, I can get behind that couple, I guess. You saw that old lady. You saw that old lady, like, in the, in the cutscene where they left her. In front of the burning convent. Adira was her name. Um, so, yeah. This game made me a lot, lot, a lot angry, and this game could have been at least two hours shorter, I feel like. I understand that the character growth of Holly needed a lot of time, and the whole, you know, she was, I mean, she was really nice. For a long part, and then something happened in the convent, uh, convent, and you know she turned all, uh, you know, forget about it and uh, just move on if nothing happened and whatever. Anyhow, um, overall, this game not as good as I thought it could have been. The art is cool. I like the voice acting a lot. The voice acting was very good, and I'm really thankful for the voice acting. It would have dragged so much longer without it. So the voice acting was carrying a lot. Again, this game could have been a bit shorter, I feel like. Um, then again, I don't mind. We, we just streamed it for five more hours or something, so... Yeah. Um, overall, it's okay-ish. Not the best, not the worst. Still... Um, the topic it ha it had was really aggravating for me. Um, I was really angry most of the time, like how uh, Adira 
and all the other nuns were, and you know, the parents of Holly and Gabby. I got warm with Gabby and Holly later on since when they started bonding and having those nerd outs and playing, uh, playing around with the fighting and stuff. So that was fun. But before that, I really did not care about uh, those characters at all. It took me like uh, six, I don't know, maybe six, three, four, five, six hours until I got used to, you know, the two characters. And I kind of like them now, but, you know, I'm still not that invested. I'm happy they got their happy ending, hopefully. And, you know, maybe they live together and, you know, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, Eddie Rice, the nun. And the other two were, like, sent to, to the convent to, um, you know, be better re raised religiously and whatever. And, you know, they, they were just not... They were just sent there to be brainwashed, basically. And no, that's not baby Jesus. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, that was my thought about the game. It's... Again, it could have been shorter, voice acting top. Um, Story-wise, again, it was making me very angry and it is a topic that I struggle to deal with in real life. Not only about the religious stuff, but all the abuse that is happening. But people are trying to talk, talk it uh, through that it's not abuse, but it is just straight up abuse what's happening in households like this and the sad thing is it just happens everywhere basically like it's a it's a topic it's a topic and a half 